Who we got here? Hello, Playful. Hello, hello. Uh, I had a bit of pizza, but it turned Ooh. out to be really shitty, so, uh, I had a bit of pizza. Had a few slices, so, you know. Ended up being quite disappointing. That was a bit sad. It's sad pizza. <laughs> Lewd. Lewd. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Nero. Thank you very much. Time does indeed fly. It's ridiculous, Lewd. isn't it? Thank you so much for six delicious mumps. Thank you very much. Sorry, just stretching my legs before we get going. Hey, the kill. Here we got you then. Hello, Playful. Hello, Theo. Hello, Joe Marath. Hello, Dan. Hello, Pumpkin. Hello, Nero. Hello, Froggy. Hello, Noble. Hello, the kill. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Lewd. Groovy! No groovy! Groovy is illegal. It is illegal to be groovy. Especially Earthworm Jim kind of groovy. Thank you, Blue Bay Butter. Thank you. So, plan for today is do a bit of Yakuza. Probably, like, I don't know, hour, hour and a half to see how we go. And then have a nosy at Vampire the Masquerade, Coteries of New York. I believe that's how you pronounce, pronounce it. It's like a... Uh, uh, visual novel, adventure, adventure -y thing. Lewd. So not traditional sort of uh, vampire game that we normally play, but it's set in the same universe, and I'm kind of curious. And they gave me a code, which was very nice of them. I will look up the uh, publisher and talk about who it was at the time, because I think it's the, probably the least I can do since they sent me a code. <laughs> Lewd. I can have a look. It was a nice lady. Uh, it was actually, it wasn't a robot who was sending the codes out. It was actually just someone typing, which was nice for a change. Hey, Gadget, how are you? Lewd. Noble Baron, hello! Seven months of lewd! Perfect. Thank you very much, Noble Baron. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here for seven months as well, so thank you very, very much, dude. Really do appreciate those resubs, thank you. Hey, Theo. Oh, not too bad, thank you. Not too bad. Just did some hunting with uh, Kilka. Sounds good fun. I've had a nice uh, couple of days, actually. <laughs> Did some uh, Final Fondaloo yesterday with Ollie and Pumpkin. Did some uh, monster huntering. Been playing some uh, ri uh, Altilia Riser, which is actually really good. So, hey Dark Horse, we haven't started yet. So yeah, you've caught, you've come up at the start. Have you been busy? Have you got you? We've been up to. Hey Bloodmon, thank you for the host, dude. Hey Bloom, you have a tiny dog. Dooch! Yay! Dooch. Alright, let me load up uh, Yakuza. Yeah, so Vampire the Masquerade, Coteries of New York, should be interesting. So I'm kind of curious how that's going to play out later, but we'll give that a whirl. I'm pretty sure it's just, it's a sort of uh, Phoenix Wright-esque style thing, as opposed to anything else, but not that there's anything wrong with that at all, so looking forward to that. Alright, here we go. Oh wait, I didn't mute it. Caught it! I caught it in time. I caught it in time. Nice. Oh, I got the wrong picture on, haven't I? What a fool I am. What a fool I am. There we go. Actually, if we're doing vampire later, I guess we should do both. We should have this one as well. Oh, nice one, Noble. Thank you very much. And of course, we got the lovely pumpkin's new emo that she did yesterday. Look at that. Some very fine Malkavian girls. Hello from the boredom of the workplace. Oh no, are you bored? No! How you doing, Blood Mom, by the way? You alright, dude? Woo! We got one for Yami as well. Very fine. Got some nice, uh, nice. Lewd. Sorry, it won't be two sacks. Right, let me 
me get the phone app ready. You doing good? Just chilling? Chewing gum? Watching Zero Punctuation? Oh, and a stream as well. That's pretty hardcore, like, uh, multitasking. Also, sorry, my, uh, I've got some dry skin on my lip that I must get rid of. Which will almost certainly bleed in a few seconds. Ow. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Ouch. There we go. Alright. Need to get, like, a chapstick or something. Right, let me get the game capture ready. Where are you, Yakuza? There you are. Goodbye, busty vampire ladies. Hello, Yaku. Whoa, whoa, do I want to go into the settings? I don't know what it is I'm doing. I want to say no. No, whatever, whatever it is you... No! Did I just close the game? God fucking damn it. As soon as Kitty hears your voice, she pays attention. Oh, nice! <laughs> ah, fuck! <laughs> Please, uh, pet Kitty for me. You are streaming some more Prey? How was it? Was it alright? I'm sorry. It is. There we go. Professional streamer, man. Oh, so what I was doing, off camera by the way, was uh, doing some of the business stuff. However, actually, I need to do something quickly, because... Uh, because the RC... Let me... Can, can I load from here? Here we go. Uh, load. Yes. Let me load this one a minute. I think it's this one. I think it's this one. Let me run to the RC car place because I went in there to do something while I was off camera and a cutscene started. So I made sure I made a separate save and then we can go and see it because I don't want anyone to miss out. Your cheeky soul is happy. You want to be cheeky. Cheeky is good. Cheeky is lewd. Also, Pumpkin's done a very, very cool thing for tomorrow's stream as well. So looking forward to showing you all. Lewd. Oh no, my lip's bleeding. Oh no, I'm starting to fight with men. This isn't canon because I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to book it in a second. Hello, Holly, you alright? You watch your YouTube with the pizza man. What's up, pizza? It's a nice pizza. Hey, thank you very much, Noble! Thank you so much, dude! Oh, that's some fine, delicious gift subbing. As always, my man, thank you very much. Hey the Victorian, you alright? This is a stream about punching men and fisting them very hard with your fists. There is a big and complicated story going on, but I don't know if we'll actually... We'll, we will end up doing that at some point very shortly, but at the moment we're doing some side quests and mini games and a few of the bits and bobs. Most important thing to know is that we're punching men very hard in the face. Uh, have we gone too far? Yes, okay. And hand-holding occasionally, but that's disgusting. Holly, managed to unlock, um, do the Hunter Rank 19, uh, Master Rank 99 quest in Thingy earlier, so it's good. Is Kiri Mashkura's name? Not yet, Gadget, not yet. <laughs> Here we go, this is the bit that I accidentally missed, so. How exactly do I sub? Well, since he's, uh, Noble sorted you out, but basically what you do... You have many talents, Noble, that's just one of them. One of your many, many generous talents. To actually, to subscribe, there should be a button in the top of the screen, uh, at the top of the page, it should say, uh, subscribe, and you can do it in there. Alright, the kill sounds good, man. The gang's all here. Guess they're customising their cars. Yeah, get customised, you little shit. Ah. It's Kazumakun. Are you going to work on customization too? Yeah. No, I just happen to be in the neighbourhood. Aw, oh, Kazumakun, hang out with us. Ha! Are your kiddies still tooling around with those crappy customizations? That's preschool stuff. Oh. Whoa! You're... Hmm? Nanny? You killed him with bugs? Oh, you did the, uh, the bug, the old bug bug. Nice. Lude. Very fine. We, uh, we just bapped him with a hammer. It was, it was good, it was good times. Enjoyed it. Nice one to kill, and I'll have a nosy later, my dude. Thank you very much. 
Oh shit, that's annoying, Froggy. Are they gonna come sort it? <laughs> Lewd. Hey, Victorian, thank you very much for that. Ten months! Almost a year. It definitely doesn't feel like it. That's, uh, that's getting older for you. It uh, sneaks up and then crushes you down very quickly, disturbingly. But luckily, I heard that if you, uh, if you like lewds, that you get younger every day, so it works out. Not too young, though, because then you get arrested. It's a bit awkward. Thank you very much, Victorian. Appreciate that, dude. Nice. Who's this loser kid? <laughs> you guys are still up on that buddy buddy bullshit. No wonder you nerds suck hard. Give it up, loser babies. Oi. Hey, you walk in and start insulting your fellow racers with that attitude? Duh. Do you live in a cave? You're a racer, and you're telling me you don't know what the heck I am? Yeah. Who the hell do you think we are? Uh, 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 uh. Seem to have stopped again. Uh, hopefully the guy's gonna uh, have a nosy and sort out for you. Hey, hello, Heaven, you're right. Is he famous? H his name is... Karen. He comes over and bugs us when we're racing and stuff. He's a real jerk. But nobody can say anything because he's the pocket circuit champion. He's so fast, he wins tournaments all over Japan. Karen Kun, this brat is Kamaruchu's champion. You made a build where the Kinset literally does all the damage and you sand across the map picking your nose. It's not very exciting, but it's a really powerful for a meme build. Really? How long does it take you to kill him then? Is that like, that sounds really cool. Kiryu's like, why am I getting talked to by this kid? I, I could literally buy out his entire family. Hey, girls. I hope the stream washes away with the t task of watching River Riverdale. What's Riverdale? Ten to twelve minutes. Oh my god, that's that's like way faster than both of us using like like mad like mad weapons. I wonder if it's because the bug just keeps hitting it constantly like that. We haven't seen you back all of a sudden. We haven't seen you for a long time. I heard about the new guy who's supposed to be pretty good. I figured I should stomp him before he gets any dumb ideas. I think his name was Kazuma Chan. <gasps> Kazuma Chan, are you there? You who? Let's race Kazuma Chan. I'm the Kazuma you're looking for, and it's Kun. What? Nani? You're a grown up and you play with pocket circuit cars. Don't you feel that's a little lame? What's it to you, Babaka? You could use a lesson in manners. What? You're the one who needs a lesson in manners, you rookie racer. I'll show you who's boss. Huh, sure. Let's settle it on the track. Here's the deal. If I beat the shit out of you, and then punch you, and kick you in the teeth, you'll never bully the other kids ever again. Fine, you're on. It doesn't matter to me anyway, because you're light years away from catching up with me. So how about it? Ready to eat my dust? No! Because, uh... That's where we're going to stop. Because uh, that's what happened, and I made a further save. But that's what happened, and I made sure we didn't want to miss it. So so let me load the current save a minute, which is that one. You're in trouble with your girlfriend because you grabbed your hand and you yelled, These schools to hang? Nice. It was worth getting in trouble, to be honest. Remember, hand-holding is for degenerates. You did the right thing. So we need to wait until that goes, goes done. Then we can carry on with the quest. I wonder if I can, uh... I wonder if I can go do the, the- I wonder if we can actually go do the race now quickly while we're waiting. So where are we up to? We're do, we're ready to go to the next town. Where Majima is. But, um, we- I wanted to finish the real estate stuff off first. So I did as much as I could. It's an elemental build, so it just buffs the Kinsec while hitting it- hitting the weakness, so your bug is sitting for 80, 90 over here. That's actually really good, yeah. Damn, that's really hardcore. If you get a chance, I'd love you. You have to show me, because I'd love to see it. Show me the bug. Show me the bug. Let me fist this man. Ooh! I'm sorry. That was rude of me. Hey, Morgan! Sorry. Hi! Let me fist these men. Let me fist these men in the streets. Ooh! Oh my god, that guy's got a friggin' saber again. Like, young son or whatever. Rude. Ah! 
Ow. Nice. Hey, my view. Vampire the Masquerade, here we go. Yeah, we got some, later on, we're be doing some, a game called Vampire the Masquerade Coteries of, ooh, it's my fuck boy. No, that's not what the game's called though. Um, just to clarify. No, that's just my other fuck boy. Um, no, it's called uh, Vampire the Masquerade Coteries of New York. Good editing software that isn't expensive. Um, older versions of Sony Vegas is okay, but it's quite slow. Coteries of fuck boy. Dude, where's my shooty bang bang? Nice. Uh, right, let's swap out this to eighteen. Click, click. You have a Chromebook. No Apple stuff. Uh, that's why Vegas is okay. It's Sony Vegas. That's not too bad. Wait, do you, when you say editing, do you mean like video editing or do you mean like, uh, like Photoshop or something? <laughs> get shit on, mate. You can't get comfy because the wires and the leads. Videos. Yeah, Sony Vegas is good. It's CPU heavy rather than G and it doesn't use the GPU. At least the older versions didn't. So it can be quite sluggish. No, leave me alone, you fuck sticks. I'm going up here. Hembrin! A year of robbing from the big bank man. Yeah! Thank you so much, dude. A year is awesome. So thank you for hitting that milestone with me, man. Thank you very much. It's your absolute star, dude. So what is Coaches in New York? It's like a, uh, it's like a visual novel -y sort of thing, I think. But we'll have a look at it. I don't know, I haven't tried it. I I'm purposely waited so we can have a play together. So, have you figured out the customization and beat me? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I'm ready to race. I'll give you a dose of reality you'll never forget, you little shit. Have I done the umbrella finish yet? I, don't, I still don't think I have done it, actually, Burn. I think I'm being used to those. Do I have a kitty? I do not have a kitty. I wish I did have a kitty. Champion circuit. Uh, let's see, there's a loop switch and a slope. Oh, it's this one. It's the same one as the other one. I don't know if we got the, the, the gunfo to do it though. Super slim. So we want ultra slims then. We want higher speed, don't we? We got four. Is it 40 points we got to? Yeah. Okay. Frame. Ultra speed frame. Let's risk it. Motor. Exceptional torque for acceleration and slopes. Ultimate speed. I bust the battery. Alright, let's try it. No. Kitty. They're monitoring your ticket for 24 hours. Yeah, they, they, if they're doing that, they got everything stuck to you, don't they? It's a pain in the ass. Why didn't I have a kitty? I'm not allowed one here. I can get one from Don Quakes Don Quakes Cooty. Alright, here we go. I might, I might need some more stuff to beat him, though. I'm in the blue lane. Noob Kun is in the red lane. Alright, here we go. I think we're I'm, I think we're slightly pulling ahead. No, he's beating me. I think. No, it's kind of hard to tell. It looks like I he gains on the corners. I think. Please. I think we're doing okay. No boost. Wait, boost or no boost? Mixed signals here. Do I boost or no boost? Wee! 
This one isn't bad for corners actually because you can. Um, it's not that sharp. Booster, you say? Alright. Booster! Booster! Oh, oh dear god. Okay, we're back. Using the power of psychic magic. Oh god! We're back, we're back. We're okay, we're okay. Alright, we made it, I think. I think we're okay. Full power. Okay, here we go. As long as we don't hit a bad corner, we should be fine. This is the champion. The championship race. It all comes down to this. The final. The last victory. The last set of corners. Boost! Oh dear. <laughs> Beautiful. Jumping into this game midway is a fever dream. It really is. It's beautiful, isn't it? Four seconds behind me. More like four million seconds. Hmm. Piece of shit, kid. Play the red line theme. Oh my god, we should have done that. Oh. Oh, next time I do one, remind me. I need to get the red line thing going. Absolutely. We should totally do that. No way. I'm dreaming this. <laughs> wow. Kazuma-kun, you did it. You beat Karen-kun. You're awesome, Kazuma-kun. That was hecka awesome. No way, you cheated. You used a modded motor or something. Let me see your car. I wouldn't know where to get one if I wanted. No way. No way. Let's not embarrass yourself anymore, Karen Kun. F -f Fighter. It wasn't that long ago you were racing with everyone here. Come on back. We can have fun racing like before. No way. How am I supposed to do that when everyone hates me? It's a red land day. I don't have anything but pocket sucked racing. And my booze. Nothing but alcohol. And my smack. Tons of drugs. I mean, just before I came here, I did six lines of cocaine. And now I've lost. Again. If you keep driving away every time you lose, you'll never get ahead of the curve. Besides, pocket circuit racing isn't something you do alone. It's a community that everyone builds together. Yeah, seriously, Kiryu couldn't lose. He like, you lost Kiryu. He's like, yeah, but I own the building now. And since I'm the landlord, get out of my building. Uh. Yeah. Pocket Circuit Racing is a game of speed. But to win on it, there's something even more important than the parts you use or the customizations you add. And that is... I don't have to spell it out for you, do I? Uh. Yeah, I know. He's back to normal now. Lude. Everyone hate me, boy. Wait, gets hit in the booty. No, no booty hits him. Guys, I'm sorry for being so mean to you. If you don't mind, I want to hang out with you again. I won't force you or anything. Uh, I don't like it when you're mean, Karen Kun. But if you're really sorry and want to play with us again, of course. Right? You bet. Yeah. After all, everyone who races pocket circuit cars is a super duper friend. You guys. How about this? We'll forgive you, but you have to teach us how to customize like you. Wow. If Karen Kun teaches us, I bet we'll get a whole lot faster. Why are the honorifics left in? I guess to make it more sort of authentic, I suppose. Yeah, come on, let's get to it. Yay! Thank you. Go on. What you needed and what wanted most is waiting for you. Uh. Gotcha. Kazuma Kun, thank you. What happened to being random people? Oh, we're still gonna be doing that, don't worry. We're still gonna be fisting people. Absolutely. This is for patching things up between me and the gang. I hope you like it. I got dark purple. That's super. And a load off my mind. Kazu Yoshikun was a real passionate and positive racer before. He's a good kid. He only turned mean after he lost to a certain opponent. I really feel bad for him. I wanted to do something so we could go back to having fun again. So that's what happened, huh? Even the greatest racer lost to someone. There's always someone better. Well, all's well that's all's well. I like seeing kids playing happily together. Makes me happy too. I agree. Yay! Can we win the Bluebird Cup? Is that Twitter? Pocket Circuit's great, isn't it? It sure is. Kazuma-kun, come and race with us too! And you, fighter! Come on, Kazuma-kun, let's go. The kids, our friends. They're waiting to burn some rubber. Heh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cute. Complete 40 Kiryu sub-stories. Nice. I've got one race to go. I wonder if I can use my, um... 
I wonder if I can use my customization for it. Alright. Ready? Where's my where's red line? Here we go. Let me let me mute the game so we can get red line going. It's gonna be perfect. I think I've got it here somewhere. Music. Red line OST. Here we go. Is that loud enough? Quite too loud? I think that's good. Okay. Here we go. Actually, it probably muted the entire PC if I did that. Or did it? Did that mute the entire PC or not? I'm not entirely sure. Can you guys hear it? No, I didn't think so. Okay, so I have to do it a slightly different way then. Okay, so I'm going to have to mute your cues briefly. That's fine, it won't take long. There we go, right. So, here we go. So we want to go into this one. King of Speed Cup, using Cool Striker. But we're going to customize because we want Dark Purple. That's right. Can you hear it now? Here we go. It's a red line day. Boost! Oh no! These guys are so fast, what the shit? We're gonna lose again! Is this Sonic music? No, it's from the film Red Line. Oh god, they're so much faster than us. They must have bits we don't have. We must fix this! Boosto! Nyaaam! Oh god. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch up. Lewd. Big move done! How many been back to the Mikuza? Welcome back, man. How are you doing, dude? How's things? Boosto! Oh god. Oh god! Oh god! We're fine. No. Alright, that's that still didn't work. We need we need to work on that. We'll we'll get there. We'll get there. Rip. Rip. <laughs> Look for the million venom machines. Yeah, we need to get the bits for them. I need speed. We do need speed. All right. Decidedly not fine. I know, right? Mondo bogus. Million yen vending machine? Yes, insert it into my body. I should do initial D. We should, oh, we'll do it. If I get the correct bits, we'll do initial D next time. What the fuck? That's not the right thing. Alright, fine. Alright, here we go. Alright, Lady Cosplay, don't worry. I'm gonna go fist some people for you. Then we'll real estate. Let me fist these uh, Chinese men for you. Gas, 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 gonna step on the gas. <laughs> I bet last month was terrible if you didn't want to move it. It was all, all okay now, though. Yay, yay, yay. Ah. Ooh. Oh my god, he hit me in the, in the, in the spine. Ooh. Nice. The time period in this game is the... I think it's 89? 1989? Get out of the way, fools. Gas, 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 gas. You could find us two Eurobeat inspired tracks. That's amazing. Oh my god. I look forward to hearing those. Alright. Well, we're going to step on the gas. I need to step on people as well. I'm going to step on them and I'm going to make them call me... Daddy. Daddy Kiryu. But first, real estate. Because we're almost done actually with that. Yep. So we got 58% now. And if we upgrade this one, because this is where I got to last time. But I had to, because it ticked over to a cutscene, I had to uh, had to pause it. So if we do the Media King area. It's a money battle. 
Oh, it's like I do. Nice. For some reason, he keeps reminding me of Yoshi P from Final Fantasy fourteen. I don't know why. It's just a feeling I've got. If you've got the rules, yes, you must spam the ludes. Those are the rules. Right, we need to insert money into this place. So where is uh, Michael Jackson? Nice. Uh-oh. There we go. As long as we get a few of these up to B, that should be enough to uh, do what we need to do. The final jewel race needs a very specific build. Ah, sorry, I'll, I'll wing it, cool bond. It's, it's more fun for me that way, dude. If I get really stuck, I'll, uh, I'll sort out. Thank you, though. Okay. Oops. Thing, that's everything. Oh no, missed one at the bottom. Right, 63%. Alright, let's just let's just get these. I don't really care about these. Much. So we'll just collect these. I can worry about it later. They're all 100%. That's the important thing. How is Lord Nugget? Lord Nugget is doing a fine job. As always. And here we go. It is time. Oh no! Yamanoi! Hey, you okay? Shit. I'm sorry, Kiryu san. This is like deja vu. Deja vu! Sorry. Deja vu! What happened to you? Is this the Media King's handiwork? And where's Marina? You have to go and save Marina-san. Please hurry to the Disco Fever! Nani? Nani? The Disco? Yes. Marina-san might be in danger. So this is how the Media th King does things. Damn him. I need to get to the Disco. Right. Maja Haja 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 is up there, isn't it? So, not too far at least. Hey, Umbra! Let's go! I wish I could bring Michael Jackson as like a favour to the disco, it'd be amazing. Get the fuck out of my way! Yeah, whatever. I got- Oh, it's- Oh, probably shouldn't risk it. Because I haven't got my gun on me. Oh, but it's so tempting. So tempting, what do I do? Do I risk it? Oh, fine. You twisted my leg. Let's do it. You're reading about Deja Vu the other day. Apparently it's a lag in the brain communication makes you think it's happened before. I didn't realize that. It's really creepy, isn't it, when it happens? Do not, you say? Oh, that's fine. This is fine. Yeah, no shotgun. Gotta do this the classic way. Kick him in the nuts. Oh shit. Boosh. Mr. Shakedown versus Mr. Shotty. But we don't need to worry about Mr. Shotty since we have violence on our side. Yeah. Get out of it. Whoa, whoa. This is fine. What's that, my friend? Money, money, ween. I know, right? Oosh. What project are you working on, uh, Froggy? Sorry, I missed it while I was uh, fisting this man. 
Oh, I was nowhere near him. That's just no, no. I'm still okay. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. I'm okay. I'm okay. There's nothing problem with my face. You're knitting a scarf. Oh, nice. Did I find that money in his orifice? I like to think so. I do have the shotgun, I just didn't refill it. But also, uh... Oh shit! Get off my face! Ugh. I'm fine. Wait, what's this about anal radio? Oh yeah, the anal radio archers, yeah. Those guys are jerks. They deserve that one though, to be fair. This guy's got no hope. This counter's really strong. Oh shit. Ooh. Ooh. Tank him down. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it looks so rough every single time you see that like break. Oh nice. First time. Legit. <laughs> Lude. Yeah. Hello, it's been 84 years since I caught a stream because your phone stopped sending me notifications. That's a real scam, Assassin's Lover. What a sc You've been scammed. That's horrible. Good to have you back, though. Welcome back to the streams. Welcome back. The bowling ball one is rough, actually, yeah. There we go. I stole his money. Legit first time. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Now we can disco. Welcome back, Assassin Lower. Seriously, thank you very much for the beautiful support. Much appreciated. Hey, Anta. How'd it go? Is that, that was legitimately first attempt. Oh no, it's Yoshi P. Oh, you came, Mr. Kiryu. So honorable, the paragon of a Japanese man. Where's Marina? Hmm? Marina? Oh, Marina chan. She's enjoying herself over there, dancing a little heart out. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Mr. President, help me! Oh no, she's been... she's dancing! First try, bad. <laughs> Proper mm. bad. Legitimately bad. It's dance time. I agree with the kill, it is definitely dance time. I haven't done the electric box one, no. I keep meaning to do it, and then we end up like getting either distracted or don't find it. What in this game you mean? Yeah, you probably can complete this game quite quick. That's rad with an R. That's rad! Oh wait! Oh, you're right! I thought you said that's bad! Ah! Oh, that's even cooler. I thought you meant that was like, that's bad. You know when he goes like, I love the Nintendo Power Glove. It's so bad. But like, isn't a good thing. But never mind. Hello, Penguin! How you been, Jessica? You all good? Let's do it. What the hell is going on? I don't want to do this. He said he'd kill me if I don't dance. I don't know what to do. Ha ha ha! She's dancing with tears in her eyes. What a rare sight. Magnifico. Bella, Bella. Uh? You son of a bitch. Why did you do this to her? Hmm? Me? It's a dance party. She's just dancing, that's all. If you don't get down at the discotheque, that's just wrong. An affront to the god of disco. Besides, how was I going to make you come to my party otherwise? I told you I'd think of a way to get you to feel my rhythm. 
You get a lewd, and you get a lewd. Everybody gets lewd. Everybody gets lewd! Yay! Thank you so much, Feather! Oh, Feather, you're lovely. Thank you so much. Probably the last chance I'll get to give stuff for a while. Oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you very much. Well, I greatly appreciate it, so thank you. How are you doing, by the way? You're good. Oh, that's so lovely of you. Lewd! Lewd feather bomb. Yes. In that case, why don't you step up and dance in her place? Nanny. Nanny! Of course, we'll have to make it interesting. Why don't we have a dance battle? We'll both bear a part of our holdings. The loser will give up his share of the, of the area to the winner. And if I don't go along with this, maybe she'll just dance till she drops. Help me! Uh, Fine. I accept your challenge. Hopefully moving in with your pirate soon. Yay! Nice! Ah, oh, that's great news. When do you think it's going to be? Alright guys, we've got a disco battle. Excelente! But, uh, do you actually think you can win against me, the disco king? Who knows? I'll just dance how I dance. Mr. Kiryu, me gusta! Hey Ollie, he gusta! <laughs> He's gusta. I think I'm getting a man crush. Well then. Let's boogie! Me gusta. <laughs> Compete! Nice. Wait. Wait, can I choose to do it on normal or is it down or on easy? Is it down to s how does this work, I wonder? I'm trying to think what the best one to do it on is. I got more points on normal even though I got yeah, I said probably do it on normal, I guess. Alright, here we go. Alright, let me let's get this done. Let's get this done. I'm ready. I love Kiryu's grumpy little ghost. Ah, oh, shit, I've loved it. Ah, oh, I did it too early. What a disaster. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's all going wrong. This is definitely the hardest minigame, I think. I can't. I have a lot of trouble seeing where I've got to where I've got to dance first. Oh, I got wrecked. I got absolutely wrecked. That is so, that is so so hard. We were defeated. <laughs> You're a better dancer than I expected. I'm surprised, Mr. Kiryu. Muy buen. But a promise is a promise. I'll take the share. Damn. I find that minigame really, really, really hard. You did it on normal. You didn't miss a single note. You got three stars and he beat you. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Hey, Tony. So I lost my share. Boo. <laughs> I hope you learned your lesson. Otherwise, we'll have a dance battle without the dance. I said this before, I'm a lover, not a fighter. I hope it doesn't come to that. If I was going to back off from a little thing like this, I never made a move on you in the first place. The dance was the first and last time I lose to you. Next time, I'll wipe that creepy smirk off your face. Oi. Come on, Marina, let's get the hell out of here. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Tony. That's brilliant news. That was amazing, sir. All hail the Disco King. Shut it! I'm sorry. Kazuma Kiryu. I'll bury him on dance on his grave. Rude. 
I don't know why, but I find the dance one really, really difficult. I'm usually okay with rhythm, but like, I, I, I have a lot of trouble visualizing where the where the squares are going. Yeah. No need to thank me. I just did what I needed to be done. Besides, I promise to protect you no matter what. Mr. President, I think. Uh... Okay, I've got other things I need to do, so you know, get yourself home. <sighs> Nanny, you're terrible, Mr. President. Haha. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, what have we got to do? Oh yeah, we gotta go to. I guess we just carry on with the main story for a bit now. Oh no, we can't because. Hmm. Eh, we're gonna have to carry on. We're gonna have to carry on. That's that's just that, isn't it, really? Let me save it quickly. We didn't lose any territories. We just lost the share. Of, we just lost a percentage share. I do have a size sword in the batting cage, yeah. Problem is, it'll take time to get, regain the stuff, so... I mean, I, I, I can do the side story instead if you guys want to wait. That's the thing, like, if you if we do the side story instead, I got time to, um... Get some... get the, um... Get the percentages back, probably. How's the slot cars going? We haven't finished the slot cars yet, we've got one more race to go. Uh, let's see. If I should look at the business thing, yeah, it's done already. So I guess I, I guess I could just go do that. We could do the side story then. There's also the accuser higher side story. Where's that one? We could go do that one as well, I guess. Pardon me, guys. Come through. Pardon me. Come through. Yeah, side story is good. I would like to fin I would like to finish the real estate stuff before we Ooh, million yen vending machine, perfect. I would like to finish the size stuff if we could before uh Soft Shell Turtle. I got a I got a fucking turtle in the vending machine? Yeah, better than panties, I guess. I did be Mr. Shakedown, I slap of him. Dolly's trying to steal egg while you're hugging him. What? That's that's outrageously rude. You should fight her. Alright, let's just um I'll just do this one for the most part, I think that's easier. The weather uh, soggy ish. It's not it's not terrible I guess, but uh not amazing. Ah, uh, that's definitely put us back a little bit though, it's a bit annoying. Alright, let's uh let's push put the dosh in, see if we can A bomb's literally in your face. You give it, you just push her in it like, beep! <laughs> I've thought one off stream of The Binding of Isaac. I've actually, funny enough, I actually picked up The Binding of Isaac on the Switch, the new, the newer one with all the DLC. I wouldn't mind streaming that, actually. I think that could be quite fun to stream. Alright, Bloodmon, that sounds good, man. We'll, we'll, we'll do that now, then. The only downside, of course, it, it's going to be delayed by the fact that I have to uh, do this a bit, but uh, if we do side stories in between, we should be able to come back and do this, I guess. Oops. Yeah, Bonnie of Isaac's fun. It's an interesting game. Alright. I need to swap these guys over, don't I? Well, I suppose I should turn these to A while I'm here, quickly. So there we go, it shouldn't be too much. Any that are close, I'll just do. There's no PS1 game you want. I want to stream. Only problem is I have to emulate it. You have the game and your PS2 should work. Uh, what, P uh, what PS1 game do you think, Em? I'd like to see you stream some Black Desert Online. Well, the MMO? I don't know. I'm not sure, because MMO-wise, I'm pretty content with uh, the old Final Fantasy XIV, to be perfectly honest. Legend of Lagaya. Oh, that's an old RPG, yeah. I never tried Shogi. The only thing I know about Shogi is it's in... Um, 
Six, oh, we're back at 62%. That wasn't too bad, actually. The only thing I know about Shogi is it's um in... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Persona. I like Binding of Isaac. It, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not terrible at it. Um, I can. I can usually complete it. Normally. Yeah, I can. I can do Binding, binding of Isaac streams. The only problem with Ilby, the same problem as always, is that the Dreamcast emulator is difficult to get working. It's not easy at all. And I don't have an actual Dreamcast. Makes it. Uh, makes it tricky. Right, let's go do the side quest on the batting cages then, see what's going on. Yeah, he laughs at you for making mistakes, that's cruel. Isaac! Isaac! <laughs> what's it? Good night, Manticore. Am I excited for Persona 5 Royale? Nope. I played Persona 5, I've got no desire to play it again, to be honest. It was fun, but it's just, it's too long and I've got other things to play. There's supposed to be someone waiting for me here from the Dojima family. Okay. Are there any games you have which you'd like to stream but haven't yet? Yeah, the other Shantae games, probably. Um, Near Automata I want to stream. At some point. Over here, Kiryu-kun. Wait, who the... What the fuck? It was just a little twerp. Nani? Nani? It can't be. Did you get my message? I sent for you, Kiryu-kun. Master Daigo? 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 Who's this guy? It's been a while. Daigo-kun, who's this guy? Kiryu Kun, he was part of my father's family business. I heard he got kicked out for some reason. Hey Jade! Hey Stockholm! A charity meeting. Oh, was it was it uh, was it a bit tedious? A former soldier, eh? Would you get the boot? You pop a boner in the boss's office or something? What's the matter to you guys? You can leave now. I'm gonna hang out with Kiryu-kun. Uh, but Daigo-kun, you said you'd spring to the party at the arcade. Another time. Not that there's anything special. Nani? You can't just ditch us after you call us out. What, you wanna make something of it? <sighs> Ugh. Never mind. Be seeing ya. Lude. So who's this guy? I guess he's in the- I guess he's in the thing. It's a dolly. <laughs> Boost. More red light music. Boostu. It's the boss's son, yeah. Master Dago, do you need me for something? Come hang out with me. I just felt like hitting the town for a change. Mm -hmm. What? What now? Mum says dad's way too busy for me right now, so I've got a lot of time to kill these days. Yeah, yeah but I don't. Ah. What's the matter? You used to play with me all the time, right? You getting kicked out of the family doesn't mean we still can't hang out, does it? Well, if anyone from the family saw us together, things could be bad for you, Master Dago. It's not a good idea. It's fine. Those spineless grunts don't have the balls to say anything to my face. All they do is talk about me behind my back. But, chill out, Kiryu-kun. You need to let go and have some fun. Come on. I got enough money to cover us both. Besides, if you're with me, there's no way the family would be risk messing with you. You're in real hot water, huh? Something like that. Do you reckon he'll work for me? What's good for getting leftover adhesive residue, residue off skin? Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say nail polish removal probably is actually pretty decent. Okay, first off the arcade. Mm. Oh no! I want to hang out with you, I don't care where. Can we slow down a little? Uh. Hey, quit it with the master thing. You can just call me Dago from now on. You're not part of the family anymore. Yeah. Uh, no, I can't do that. Consider a request from a friend, not an order from a patriarch's son. Does that work for you? Huh. He's always been a good kid. It's a miracle giving his dad. Guess I can afford him to give him a little time. Alright. Ah. Kiryu you can check that out. A UFO catcher? 
Have you tried these before? I'm totally hooked on it. I've sunk so much money into these, it's not even funny. What should I try to get today? Do I need to do anything? I'm giving you a demonstration first. Okay. Don't disappoint him. I'm very good at these. What is this bullshit? It sucks today. What's wrong with this place? The management must suck. Master Dagu, you shouldn't be dissing the business out loud. Don't tell me what to do. There's no end to this. Haven't you had enough? If I quit now, I've wasted all the money I've already used. Didn't I tell you to drop that master stuff? Yeah, yeah but that wouldn't be... It doesn't matter. Anyway, Kiryu-kun, it's your turn. Mm. I have 300 yen left. Let's see if you get that for me. Nice. 300 yen. <laughs> Guess I can give it a try. I love the claw machines. Don't. I'm going to do it. Don't worry. Which one have I got to get for him? Does it matter? Uh, go for the dinosaur, I guess? Dinosaurs are cool, right? Do, 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 do. Buy him some manners. Uh-oh. Double dino? Double dino? Double dino! Yeah! What's better than one dino? Fucking two! Yeah! Now that's the way to do it. Nice. Is it? Is it illegal to rig them in Japan? Man, I need to go to Japan. <laughs> like what? What? <laughs> I scammed that. Nice. Look at that. Yeah. What was that? Sorry, the queue? Look at that. That was some fucking legit, like, uh... I need to get, get one of each. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that is, um, that is like a, what, a Chinese vampire, isn't it? Because that's what um, the girl looks like in Darkstalkers. <laughs> Lewd. Oh, clearly fucking rigged. Clearly rigged. 25 months of double D action. Titties. Thank you very much, Easy. Thanks very much, man. Thank you so much for the lovely support, dude. It's always a pleasure to have you here, so thank you for that. You can always have the double D. The D is for dinos. Dinosaur titties. No way you got it. After all that money I dropped on it, you just nail it? <laughs> it's just dumb luck, Master Dago. You line the things up so it's easy to grab. Uh, yeah. That must be it. Maybe it's time to call it a day then. I got some things that I gotta take care of. Huh? What are you talking about, Kiryu-kun? We just gotten started. But, let's go somewhere else. Not a kiddie place like this, but somewhere kids can't go by themselves. Somewhere kids can't go. To the strip club! No luck, just mad skills. That was actually pretty good there, wasn't it? Where do you propose we go? I told you. I want to go somewhere kids can't go. Not this neighborhood enemy, but can't argue with that. Do you know a place called Asia? Yeah, it's the continent we're on. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Thank you, Kiryu. <laughs> uh, no. It's a bikini bar. Take it to the catfight arena. Oh my god, yes, we should totally do that. Yeah. Uh, no, a bikini bar would be inappropriate. Fine then, how about a telephone club? Oh, I heard there's a place you can watch cat fights. Maybe you can settle for a lounge? A lounge? Fine. I'll buy you a drink. Huh? I thought you ran out of cash. Yeah, 100 yen coins. Plenty of bills from where those came from. Oh, it's a lounge on Pink Street that should do. We'll see if they do virgin drinks, I guess. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Damn it, Holly, I was getting excited we could actually do that then. All the machines have a rigorous testing and actually have how-to cards inside them. Really? Is that so the arcade workers can test them to make sure they work properly? That's really cool. Mm. Um, huh? <sighs> I'm sorry, but we can't have children here. Lewd. Uh, I won't ask you to serve him alcohol, but can you let him hang out for a while? Mm. I'm sorry, I really can't help you. There are other guests I have to consider. <sighs> yeah, I know where you're coming from. <laughs> hey, don't you know who I am? No. I'm sorry, even if you're the Prime Minister's son, I'm not allowed to let kids in. My father's Sohei Dojima. He's the patriarch of the Dojima family. 
You want to reconsider that stance? Huh? You're joking, right? This is a joke. Why aren't you laughing? Yeah. Well, uh, you want to do business in town? You better remember my name. It's Daigo Dojima. Oh, he pulled some strings. Nah, nah. It was a car race that's a kid. That's what. Oh, so you wanted what? You wanted to see more um, car racing stuff with red light music. Hopefully, we'll do that later at the kill. Sure. He's too young to see boob. Yeah, he probably isn't. I'm sorry, we won't stay long. Just mix him some oolong tea with soda or something. Just can't be caught serving alcohol on minor. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Hey, how about some girls? Hurry up and send someone over. That's what you do at a lounge, right? We're at a karaoke lounge. We don't really offer that kind of service. <sighs> Ugh, what a sad little dive. Oh, how I don't work here, but I'm a real-life hostess. How about I attend to you, hun? Wait a minute, lady. I'll show you how fun grown-up talk is, young man. You are so adorable. Hmm, well, you'll have to do. Sit yourself down and be quick about it. <laughs> this is going to get awkward, isn't it? Garish woman. Seriously, oh my, are you really the son of the Dojima Yakuza boss? Many of the Dojima family gentlemen patronise our club. I never knew Dojima-san had such an adorable son. What a cutie. Is that right? What grade are you in? Maybe you're around my little brother's age. Beats me. Oh, are you grumpy today? Or maybe you're just a little shy around a lady. What? Ooh, you're adorable even when you're pouting. Listen, why don't you get lost? You're annoying me now. Excuse me? You said your little brother's in elementary school. Yeah, right. Don't you mean your son? Eh? And what are you trying to pull with this drink? It's just tea with a splash of soda. Do you think your guests are stupid? How much do you charge for this swill? This kid's a little pain in the arse. Open up, it's the police! Do 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 do. Yeah, they have to win them so many times before they pass. Workers can tell you the knack, but they're still hard, but not unsinkable. If they're rigged, the arcade games can be fine. That's really interesting. That's so much better that way, isn't it? This guy's like sweating. He's like, uh -huh. Just because I'm a kid doesn't mean you can screw with me. Some ugly bag chats me up and I get so fake kitty shit. What a joke. Aw. Master Dago, I asked him to make you that drink. I know that. Although the hostess was unexpected. <laughs> right? But the Dago Dojima I know would never take pleasure in mocking a woman. What's wrong? No, it, it's nothing. This kid reminds you of some of your students. You have to give them beats, Ollie. It's the only way to sort them out. Mm. Maybe things turned out this way because nothing ever happened in my life. I've got no one I can talk to. Anyone who wants to talk to me has an agenda, whether it's money or getting in good with my father. Mm. Master Dago, I told you not to call me that. You're not even in the family anymore. I'm sorry. Let's blow this joint. Keep the change. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, thank you. Sorry about that. Yeah. No, it's fine. Your students are adults and some still out of that. That's annoying. Some people never grow up, do they? Huh? Where did Master Dago go? The hell? Uh -huh. Shut up. Keep your yap shut. Hey, it's too crowded here. Get his ass over to the champion district. Good point. Walk, kid. Yeah, these guys look legit in the middle of the street. Damn it. Uh-oh, we better go rescue him. What was that about? I mean... It's like literally the middle of the street here. Oh! Oh, this is Little Asia. No, 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 we don't want to go in here. That's where the, uh... The Champion District. Oh, that's over there, isn't it? Yeah. And he was never heard from again, quest complete. And no one would mourn his loss. So he should be... Aha! Uh -huh. What up, you little shit? Oi. Hey! Are these his friends from earlier? Yeah. Shit! We got company. Kiryu! What's wrong with you guys? Three on one against a kid? The fuck? Damn it! We gotta take this asshole down! So you see our faces uh. were dead. I'm not dying here. You are. Oh no! I'm gonna have to fist some men. All right, let's fist the shifty-eyed men's. 
I know he's got a taser. Better hit him. Ugh! Doesn't well, doesn't matter if we can't see his face now. Oh, it's a knife. Oh, give me that knife. Is that a syringe? Oh my god, can I have the syringe? Yes, I'm gonna pick up the syringe. Fucking booter. Oh my god. Hypodermic! Oh my god, we just shoved it. This oh Jesus. That's hilarious. Well, I mean not for him, obviously he's got like some sort of like hep C now or something. <laughs> Well, damn, we just jammed a needle at him. <laughs> well, uh, now he's got the herpaderp. Kiri couldn't take off their masks. Oh, look, it's his friends. These guys. You were the kids hanging around Mercer Dago? Sorry, please forgive me. Don't kill me. You guys jump me? Why? Hide your face behind mask, will you? Kirikun, these bastards try to kill me! Ugh. Don't worry, these punks have no fight left in them. And if they did, they'd never raise a finger against the Prince of Dojima, now that we know who they are. Are you saying I should let these scumbags go? It's your call, Master Dago. I won't kill them, but I'll make sure they never walk again. Ugh. These losers just like the others I told you about. They only hang around me to mooch off me like mosquitoes. They're scum that suck up to an elementary school kid and then jump in when they get pissed. I'm sorry, please forgive me. <laughs> Look at them, Kiryu. When they had their masks on, they were having the time of their lives punching and kicking me. Got them all brave, didn't you? You should be glad I'm not going to kill you. Cut it out. Mm -hmm. Huh? Uh. I said cut it out, you little punk. Uh. Huh? Kiryu can? I've kept my mouth shut so far, but enough is enough. Uh. What is this? You presume to lecture me? You want to be the sport rich kid that gets his way by throwing around his father's name? Fine, be my guest. But torturing a defeated foe from a position to safety? That's not right. It's beneath a man. And me? I can't stand by and watch a man stray so far from what's right. Especially when that man is you, Dago. Yeah, you tell him, Kiryu. I just stabbed a teenager with a dirty needle. Oh, I did, didn't I? Yeah, that's pretty bad. That one's called Essence of Injecting. Ooh. We've seen the orange one. The orange one's hilarious. Remember the basics of CQC. Uh, are you seriously laying a hand on the heir to the throne? You must know what they'll do to you. I don't care. I'd rather face the consequences than watch you down a path you can't come back from. There you go. This will be one lesson you're going to remember. Yeah. Ah, I'm sorry. Didn't expect you to break down like that. Were you scared? Uh, yes. But I was happy too. It's been a real long time since anyone saw me through who I really am and cared enough to put me in my place. I know I needed that. There you go. Oof. Your father is a Yakuza patriarch. Not many are going to have the balls to treat you as an equal. But if you keep using money in your father's name as a way to get ahead, you'll never meet people who can measure up to you as peers. For people to bond as friends and equals, it takes time. You have to be willing to take that time, Dago. Do that, and eventually you'll make friends. And don't forget, you always have at least one friend in me. You got Please. a friend in me. Hey, Dolly, you are right? Dolly! Hello. Dolly! Oh, wait, you saw the kid and you thought about the car racing again. Oh, right, okay. I'm with you, I'm with you. Greeted by your one two weakness, what ludes? You did you did summon her. Dolly the cat was being talked about and it summoned you. Did I hear extra ludes, by the way? Did I I didn't miss a lude, did I guys? Or did I miss one? So thank like the, I know the keel did one there just now, so thank you for that. Did I miss another one or was I going am I going mad? Good night, easy, take care, man. Alright. On your feet, Dago. I'll see you somewhere safe so you can get home. No thanks. Huh? I'm done depending on others. I can stand up on my own and get there on my own two feet. No more parting on my parents' dime. No more getting my, on my way on my name alone. <laughs> Good man. You're becoming a man in a hurry, Master Dago. That's enough of that master stuff. Well, it's pretty tough to change how I dress you all of a sudden. Then I'll change how I dress you too, huh? It was an honour and a privilege to spend another day with you, Kiryu-san. Next time may I buy you another drink, sir? Uh. Sure. 
I look forward to it. Okay, see you later then. No, that seems like a positive end to that. Alright, Havoc, take care, man. Keep that kid out of trouble is a full-time job, but considering where I stand with the Dojima family, I may never see him again. Take care, Dago. Grow up and be more than you are. Well, that was surprisingly wholesome. Alright. I need to repair my gun as well, don't I? Lewd. Lewd. Kiryu's the best dad, right? Kiryu does end up in lots of dirty elevator kids. That seems to be a theme, doesn't it? Worrying. Out of the way, fools. Alright, let's go get my, uh, my ripsy guns repaired so I can ripsy people. I've probably got more money to collect now, definitely, so we'll just go and do that in a second. Just want to get my guns repaired quickly. What? Hey! Hey, lady! You got any change, lady? Hey, honey. Just looking for a bait? Right. Let's go. I'd like to repair all of my zappy guns, please. Thanks. Hi, right, Stockholm. Enjoy your divinity, dude. <laughs> Lewd. Stream, baby. Lewd. Thank you, Nolish. Thank you very much, man. That is extremely lewd and very proganonant. Thank you so much, dude. Much appreciated. That's some fine lootery. Lootery most fine. Excuse me. Whee! Into the business we go. Pardon me. Nice. There was some fine vocaring yesterday. It was good. Alright, let's uh, let's go to the Media King again. Oh no, it's another money battle! Nice. 63%. We're slowly but surely going up. That means if we uh, do this again. Right, so we got that one up. Doesn't take too long. Dolly's vocals are the best, it's true. Dolly is very legit. Right. I reckon a few more of these and we'll be on our way to get to like uh, 80 or 90. Getting there. Oh. Now, 65%, okay. It's gonna take a while, that's the downside. I don't are we got any more side quests to do? That's my, my first thought. We need to we need to finish the RC car stuff. I don't know what we need to do really. I guess trying to get more bits. That's the thing. Wait, why are we panicking? Oh, we're panicking. Oh Dolly panicking, yeah. Panic! There should be more sides for unlocking by doing more disco. Oh no, disco gives me the fear. The vocal came through so loud, it came through your mic and into the Discord voice chat. Beautiful. That's how it should be. Deja loud. Do 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 do. Lewd. Lewd. The winners is you're not good to write English or speak English, but you're good to understand and read English. Well, the thing is, if you not understand it, that's the first step, isn't it? Honestly, a lot of the time, I just lost my tip of my thingy there. Where has it gone? Did it really roll under the desk? No. There it is. Is that it? That's not it. There it is. I was, pulling, I was mucking around with the controller and it, it sort of popped off. There we go. There we go. That's the thing the kill, you're halfway there, that's that's the thing. Alright. Oh look, there's a man we can fist again. Look, it's our happy money money pinata. He hasn't got that much money on him, what the shit? He's broke. Rubbish. 
You're in a group with someone named Dr. Ravioli and someone named Woof Daddy. Woof Daddy seems to dodge. Careful of that guy. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I'm okay. That's illegal. I'm gonna have to punch him now. Alright. That's just not very nice, is it? I guess I'm gonna have to shoot him. Blam, 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 blam. Nice. Kung Fu shotgun. This reminds you where most of your recent client. Well, your most recent client was French, and she told me the. And she told me she learned the word slash concept otherworldly from you because it's how you described. Because of how you described her Final Fantasy XIV character. Oh, nice! Well, they just picked it up from you. <laughs> it's interesting how it works out that way. Kiryu has never killed a man. He's not dead. I should, I should probably eat something, actually. Here we go. Gotta eat, keep up your strength. See the menu. Come on, Kiryu. If you don't eat, what are you doing, mate? I'll have that one. The highball. And I will have everything on the menu. Nice. I have two number nines. I have three. Is your most recent client the um, picture you showed off on your Patreon, Holly? The one with the purple? That is a beautiful picture, by the way. Really Ooh. stunning. Okay, I think all it's going to be now, and it's probably some waiting, so what I might do in a second is stop this and um, try out Vampire Coteries and see what that's like. We'll give that a go. Fisting. Nice, look at that fisting power. Mm, yes, harder, Daddy. I'm always, ex I'm always extremely impressed with people who speak multiple languages, because as a filthy, ignorant pig Englishman, like, we, well, I learned French at school, um, and could speak it reasonably well at one point, it's been such a long time. You know, it's not an easy thing to do to speak multiple languages, so I'm always impressed people who can pull it off. English pig dog, exactly. You speak lewd, you do speak lewd. The lewdest. Look, these guys got the fear! Once you got the fear, guys, you are fucked. That's why you never have the fear. I hadn't killed a man, though. I know what you mean, Froggy. It's, it's crazy, isn't it? Heading home and getting dinner. Catch you later. See you later, Holly. Take it easy. Thanks for dropping by. Enjoy your dinner. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna save it here. So let me go park my Aeneas in the office quickly, and then we'll load up Vampire and see what that's like, shall we? So I think, unfortunately, the rest of this is basically just gotta wait and I've gotta wait and build up the the real estate catalog until we've got a high enough percentage. Which is not very interesting, so I will do that off stream, I imagine. And I'll see if I can farm for the parts as well at the same time, the car parts, which would be useful. Right! The mighty Alt F4 has been activated. Boop! That's the wrong one. Gloivin. That's the wrong one. There we go! Vampire. Let me find it, Vampire. Well, I never boot this up, so I don't really know what to expect. There it is. No! No panicking! Wait, panic! PANIC! Alright. Let me change the thingy over. Edit. And this is Vampire. I don't know what to expect, so...
Sounds loud, whatever it is. Let me turn it down a bit. Wow, 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 wow. Alright, let me, uh, move. I probably don't need the controller anymore, so let me move that a second. There's a vampire grill. She's eating an apple, which is weird because vampires can't eat food because it makes them vomit. Oh no, I see, I see the word Brexit in there. That upsets me. Alright, settings. Let's have a quick look. Text size. Should we, should we do medium for the stream? Might be a bit easier. Typing speed, standard. Dialogue options in the middle. That's fine. Choose your clan. Lude. You had an incredibly unexpected experience with the show. What was that, Bloodman? Arg Vampire. Indeed. We got Bruja. Ventru. Or Toriador. She got a purse. The Toriador. They like art, romance, and cruelty. The Bruja, a bit rebelly. Who are we gonna be? There's only three choices. It's not. It's not an RPG. This is something a bit different. So, just in case I'm not about Happy Valentine's and Pancake Day and Leap Year. Oh, well, thank you, Feather. Well, same to you. Hope you have an incredibly nice February and uh, got to do all the nice things as well. So thank you for the bits as well. Venture because she's pretty. Venture is superior. Venture. To be fair, well, if I was to put a suggestion. In our current Bloodlines playthrough, we're also doing Ventru, aren't we? So maybe we should stick to the Ventru theme for the time being. Maybe that's the uh, maybe that's the way we should do it for a little bit. Alright. Choose your name. Her name's Amanda. What are we gonna go are we gonna what are we gonna go with name wise? Really? Is that good, Bloodmon? Is that actually a decent show? Victoria. Oh, I like that. Victoria. Alright, Victoria the Vampire. Lady McLadyface. I like it. Thing is, right, this this is the reason, unless anyone really, really, really wants to see, like, tons of streams of this, this is why I'm doing this at the end of a stream, sort of, because this, being a visual novel, it's going to be a lot of reading, a lot of talking. Now, I know some of you like story time with Halloween. Uh, I hope everyone does, because that's what's going to be a bit like it. What is this game? It's a, um, it's like a Phoenix Wright style visual novel, but va set in the Vampire the Masquerade universe. So, I'm going to have to put, I'm going to have to do story time. New York taught me to believe in fate. Had you asked me about fate back when I was a human, I would have told you it's just superstitious bullshit. That we are all designers of our own destinies. Dude! Hope your rubbish computer can run Bloodlines too. It's probably going to be fairly intensive looking at it. I'd, I'd be a bit careful with that. It's coming out on consoles though as well, I believe. So That belief shattered when the richest woman in the United States, <laughs> the actual richest one, not a face you could have seen in the papers, of course, sank her teeth deep into my neck. It happened in the very same place you're standing in right now, by the way. Fate? You decide. Hey, come to serve. Hello! Hi, teenagers. How's things? How are you doing? It's good to see you, Comsev. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Vampire 2 more than anything. Like, seriously, it's my most hyped game. Thank you very much for the whole year, Comsev. It's lovely to have you back, so thank you very much. Finish right with Vampires? Now that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Please. There's absolutely no need to be hostile. Just listen a little longer. See, my mistake was that I flew too close to the sun. It makes sense that my punishment was to never see its glow again. I was incandescent myself. I was hot shit. I had it all. Money, looks, confidence, connections, men, women, a career, and a spark in my eye, the one you need to be born with. And that's when someone far more powerful than me saw my radiance and thought, that won't do. 
You're working six days a week these days, it's pretty hectic. Oh god, I bet it is, yeah. I bet it's, I bet it's nice just to have a bit of time to yourself. She robbed me of the light erupting from within and gave me a subtle, enduring gleam in its place. She decided that it would fit me much better. She was a ninth generation kindred, just like you, an apex predator. She probably enjoyed teaching me the peak of human excellence, my real place in the food chain. It's such an eyesore when you look at some loudmouth braggarts and see them for all they really are. The temptation to teach them a lesson can be unbearable, right? You may have to miss your streams when you stream Vampire 2 as you want to play through the- Oh, absolutely, I understand that. I hope I hope everyone who really wants to do it, play it themselves does it first. I think I'll be a Malk. Absolutely. Ninth generation. Yeah, the next console gen will be interesting to see what sort of uh, grunt it brings. Is it me or is the text getting bigger? I swear the text is getting bigger. I must be imagining things. Well, my sire's less lesson was a lesson about fate. A message saying you're eternally doomed at the mercy of your sovereigns. Almost drove me to destroy myself. Fish milk! Delicious fish milk. What saved me was the ability to reinterpret her teachings. Hers wasn't a message of doom, it was a message of hope. Fate exists and one can shape it if given the right tools. This is a turtle, and I call it Leopold. Is this a new game? No, this is this is not the new game. This is like a visual novel they've done. Speaking of, I should probably say who gave it to me. That'd be a, a common politeness, wouldn't it? Let me have a look. At it. That'd be that'd be useful. Give me two secs. Uh, which is interestingly not on here, because yeah. I was given a key for this. So I'd like to say, uh. I think it was by draw distance themselves, or the PR representing them, so thank you for that. They gave me a key to sort of try it out, and I had it on my back burner for ages, but I wasn't sure what to do with it. Simply because it's a visual novel, I wasn't sure how it, you know, how it streamed, but I thought it'd be interesting to see at the end, you know? My sire didn't believe my tools were fitting for the job. She considered them toys and me her most amusing subject. Well, she's deader than dead now, and I'm still here, standing right where she stood when we first met. You might have wondered how I learned of your arrival to JFK. My answer, of course, is destiny. As luck would have it, today happened to be a day some of my associates were inspecting the coffins. Driving you here straight from the plane and having you wake up in such an unusual place was a little desperate, and I do apologise for it. But it's so rare for you to visit New York. Three times in the last 15 years, was it? And you're never eager to inform me you're here. I understand you have your meeting on 53rd Street later tonight, so I'll provide a comfortable transport. I value our relationship very much, so don't get me wrong. Wait, you just came by to say hi, so you need to get going. No worries, come sir. Take care of yourself. It's good to see you again. Oh yeah, there's, always, there's a new Animal Crossing game coming out as well, isn't there? But it is precisely because I value her that I'm going to actually repay the favour you owe me. You're the only one I trust to do the job well and without attracting attention. You might think I'm crazy asking you to breach the rules of our society like this. You might think it's impossible to get away with it unpunished. But this is New York. And I don't know about other cities, but in this one, fate really exists. And right now, it's smiling in your favour. This is how it begins. Your phone rings. It's your boss. Again. The setting sun that filled your high-rise office an hour ago is gone. The city looks like an ocean of light from up here spreading for miles to the north. You pick up. You're about to call it a day, forget about the world of fintech and decompress at home. No dice. One of the investors wants to meet you. His voice, as always, the perfect mix of authority and sleaze. He'll come by your office at an hour. You look at the clock. An hour? He's got to be kidding. Yeah, I know, but stick around. He's a heavyweight. You want to make a good impression. The rain effect is quite nice, isn't it? Sudden of Skies is good, isn't it? Yeah. That was good. That was a nice little game. Fine. You grit your teeth a little. The boss hangs up. Two hours. Might as well pour another coffee into yourself and figure out how best to use this to your advantage. So we're still human, then. Yeah. You suspect everyone knows that, no, you're actually not happy with your current position. That, in fact, you feel squished against the glass ceiling that comes with the territory. Sure, your idiot superior might have gotten the job only because he's the CEO's golfing buddy. But you? You're going to have to put an unholy amount of work into your advancement. Times were you'd laugh off the idea of staying at the office until nine. You had a partner to go home to, the nightly Netflix and chill ritual to perform, complete with pizza or Chinese takeout. Not pizza. My pizza was rubbish tonight. I'm very sad. Mulan. 
I'm kind of curious for Mulan, but I don't know. I'm going to miss all the songs and stuff, I think. Ever since you moved up the ladder, though, the hours have only got longer. Food? Mostly at the company cafeteria. Sometimes takeout. Always in a rush. You praise the heavens for your crazy metabolism and dread the day it finally decides to give up. Rest? At this point, the cleaning lady who takes care of your apartment probably spends more time in the bedroom than you do. You flash back to your boss quoting Shakespeare to impress his new, extremely attractive and uncomfortably young secretary. For some must, for some must watch, bleh. for some must watch while some must sleep. So runs the world away. Drinks? Mostly with colleagues. And they all pretty much hate you at this point. Rude. Rude. Condolences on your team using. Oh, thank you, Jessica. Yeah, it was a bit sad. They played well. They played well. So. Or you can ask for really. Oh, that's a bit sad, Ollie. But to be fair, dude, if you were gonna have a pizza or anything like the one I had, you'd done yourself a favour. I think it was gross. Oops. Another flashback. This time to the most profitable quarter in the company's history. Still, the board decided that layoffs were in order. Your boss didn't feel like letting people know in person, so he passed that privilege on to you. Gotta hand it to him. He always knew how to pick his battles. But maybe, just maybe, tonight is the night it's all going to change. You decide to play the good looks angle. Nothing too slutty. You leave your blouse slightly unbuttoned. Check if your ass looks as good as you remembered it in your pencil skirt. Mira says yes. It's not something you're proud of, but you've become too jaded to care. Knowing your luck, the investor is going to be one of two types. A self-obsessed musk wannabe in his 20s, or a fat old pervert dressed in cologne. No slut shaming, right? Nothing too slutty, though. You hear the elevator ding. Time to get this show on the road. You take one final look in the mirror and fix your hair as the footsteps echo across the empty hallway. The man who approaches your office is not what you expected. He's slick, to be sure, but he seems a bit more refined than your usual company man. Expensive suit, matching tie and shirt, confident in his stride, surprisingly good looking. Yikes. That guy's evil! Look at him! Good evening. I hope this unforeseen visit isn't too much of an inconvenience. God, that voice. You're taken aback by how smooth and strong it is. Oh, thank you. And his eyes, steel blue, cold, intense. He's all business, professional. Treats you in a manner that is appropriate to your stature. When he speaks, he actually looks you in the eye and not at your cleavage. Yay, boobies! He asks you some questions about your work, tells you how he noticed your input after talking to the CEO, another golfing buddy, and comes charmingly close to calling your boss an incompetent doofus. All the while, you try to guess his accent, but can't quite place it. Blue. European, sure. But where from? Evil eyes, definitely evil. Good night, Nero. Take care. I know I've kept you long enough. But would you indulge me and join me for a... Drink? Of course. For a minute, there seemed like he wasn't that kind of guy. But what the hell, you go with it. He seems nice enough. Besides, it's not like you have any other plans. The investor has a limo waiting downstairs, and the driver takes you to a high-end restaurant in Williamsburg. The seat is waiting for you in the deluxe lounge. It's just the two of you. You talk about this and that. Your companion seems to have a knack for history. So tell me, what would you do if you had full control of the company? You almost choke on your wine. <laughs> this is your chance. You say what's been on your mind for months, but hide it behind a veneer of professional corpo babble. Refocusing, i.e. listening to your instincts for once. Restructuring, kicking out your boss. Aggressively pursuing new markets, getting the hell away from all these horrible people. Is this the new masquerade? No, this is a side. This is like a uh, not a side, not a side thing, but it's like a visual novel game that came out called Vampires: uh, Crotchets in New York. It's a visual novel in the sense of like uh, I don't know, like other visual novels, I guess. The new game isn't out yet and won't be out probably till later in the year. Trust me, when it when it's on, everyone will know because I'll be like singing it from heaven, going like that. He likes the sound of that. He leans forward. His eyes flash with intensity. And something else. A strange emotion that wasn't there before. You'll do just fine. His words echo inside your head as you black out. You wake up. God, I don't know how much later. As you try to piece together what happened, you hear a familiar voice. The investor, or whatever the hell he is, talking to someone. You suddenly recall snippets. Fragmented memories. His sapphire eyes intently locked with yours. His teeth suddenly longer and sharper. Uh-oh. Bloodline's greatest drawback was a lack of blonde player characters. I, I imagine the new one's going to have a um, make your own character creator thing. This is, yeah, it's based on 5th edition, this one, isn't it? Saying that, I believe the new Bloodlines is as well. 
And so, something else. A feeling on your neck that takes you back to your last orgasm. Ooh, squ oh, squaw. A company trip to Florida. A sweaty room. A cutie from HR who doesn't work there anymore. And then, darkness. Yes, I'm done here. Consider my debt paid. The investor pushes the other figure aside and walks away from the lounge, barely bothering to look at you. The door locks behind him. Some time passes before you find your strength to get up from the couch. You touch your lips. Blood. Did that asshole hit you? You try to stand up, but your head is pounding and your stomach is like a heavy knot, pulling you down. Blue. You didn't have that much to drink. You must have spiked your wine. This is bad. I told you, evil eyes, right? Seriously. Dirty. Your favorite vampire, the Masquerade Law Fair, it's all vampires clan argue and claim Rasputin was a member of their clan. Yeah, they're all like, yeah, no, 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 he's ours, he's ours. You frantically check your clothes. Pristine. Doesn't make any sense. All of a sudden, the feeling hits you like unlike anything you've ever felt before. You fall to the floor, writhing in an all-encompassing pain and hunger. The kind that makes your insides burn, that cannot be denied. You try to calm yourself down with the breathing exercise that taught you some bullshit mindfulness course. That's when it hits you. You're not breathing. And holy shit, should you be your heart be jumping out of your chest with that realization, but it's not moving. Not even a beat. The door unlocks. You hear a startled voice. A younger man in a waiter's outfit. His accent thick with an Eastern European harshness leans over and asks if you're right. For a brief moment, you wonder what the hell he's doing here. Everything is wrong. Then his smell reaches your nostrils. It's intoxicating. Everything feels right again. Blah, 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 blah. I imagine. Maybe she does need pizza. He holds out his arm to help you stand up. You grab it firmly with both hands, and then you bite on him. Nom, 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 nom. You sink your teeth right next to the old school pinup tattoo of Rita Hayworth on his forearm. It takes you a moment to process what you're doing. Part of you wants to break away, but a stronger voice implores you to keep drinking. One thing becomes clear. You are definitely enjoying this. He only struggles a little and quickly falls to his knees. You can see his eyes now, pale blue and confused. You only bring yourself to let him go once he collapses onto the floor. Oh no, we've ruined his tattoo! Your bite leaves a mess of his forearm. Poor Rita, all bloodied and missing half her face. D d did you just drink the guy's blood? Lude. Alright, <laughs> catch you later, Dolly. Thanks for dropping by, though. Nom 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 nom. Exactly the kill. <laughs> blood's your new fucking heroin, kid. Uh oh. You spit out a piece of torn flesh. What? 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 What was in that fucking wine? Barely able to focus, your heart and your lungs still motionless. You reach your phone and dial nine one one. Operator, what's your emergency? I killed someone. I can't breathe. My heart stopped. I can't breathe. Oh, that's us. Nice. Wait, what annoying button up blouse? Fraud. I can't breathe. Ma'am, where are you right now? The door to the lounge swings open. The man who enters is not the one who brought you here. Though there are similarities. He's tall, for one. Broad-shouldered. Handsome. Dressed in an immaculate suit. But his skin is darker, and the look on his face tells you he's not here to negotiate a deal. Will she do, Assassin's Lover? Is she good enough? <laughs> he notices the smartphone in your hand. Pass me the phone if you want to live. <laughs> it's Dracula. Right, dude. Oh god! Oh god, it's me in a suit. Who put me in this game? <laughs> I mean, slightly dodgy facial hair going on, but otherwise... Oh, he's even got brown eyes? Well, kind of. They're glowing, I think, but, you know. Fourth wall breaking. This is a cameo, yeah. This is why I'm actually secretly doing that. I just don't want to break it to you. Oh, that's an interesting coincidence. The man's voice is persuasive. Calm, but carrying clearly a threat. He's got the aura of a viciously efficient corporate shark. You find it hard to argue with him. Ma'am? Hello? I apologize for wasting your time. My new colleague Ooh. got drunk and is now trying to impress everyone with her antics. Good night. It's Alucard. Oh, nice. Alucardo. He disconnects the call and places your phone in his pocket. For whatever reason, you can barely take your eyes off the stranger. As hyp hypnotizing as his presence is, though, it's also highly discomforting. Good evening, miss. I'm here to pick you up. Ah. Uh, pick me up? 
Pick me up? Did I stutter? The stranger approaches the waiter and examines his body. It's a critical condition, but he might live. Anyway. He then sets his sights on you. I know this is all new to you, but I've dealt with hundreds of strays like you, and going by experiences, they tend to fall in two categories. First, there are the smart ones who carefully obey my every word and don't try to pull off anything stupid. I always get them where they need to be, safe and sound. And then there are the dumb ones. The punks who thought they could take me on. The wise guys who tried to contact someone, secretly and without permission. Or the troublemakers who tried to run off or make a scene. None of them got to their destination in one piece. In fact, most of them never reached their destination at all. Is this my dating strategy? Yeah, I'm just like, give me a phone. I'm going to put it in my pocket. Right, Froggy? They made a wee. They did. They stole me. Do you reckon I, do you reckon I get um, credit for this? Should you make notes? Yeah, isn't this called Negin or something? I can't remember. His voice becomes slightly bored and monotone. You can tell he's given this speech before. Likely dozens of times. So you see, while I generally consider myself pretty smart, I'm also a Mets fan. It's my one true weakness. One that inspired me to come up with three strike system when dealing with pups like you. If you get on my nerves once or twice, well, I understand. Not all of us perform well in st stressful situations. But cross me three times and you're out. No excuses, no forgiveness, no mercy. And he's talking. As he's talking, he slowly approaches you, adding a bit of a theatrical swagger to his walk. Eventually he leans in, deliberately invading your personal space. <laughs> How rude. We and the vampire and Alucard. Damn right. I got the power. You realise it's a test. He's daring you to do something about it. Three strikes and you're out. Say, I understand, sir. Now. Every atom of your being screams you to obey his authority. D well, until we know what's going on, I say we behave ourselves. I understand, sir. Stick to that tone and you'll be just fine. Moving on. Is there anyone you'd want to inform of your current situation? Tell them you're alright. He flashes his fangs briefly, and for some reason, the sight sends a chill down your spine. There's something very wrong about him. Hey, that's not very nice. I do comb my hair, you know. Someone closest to you? My boss? There is... There's no one. No, I don't have anyone. The stranger squints at you. No family? No lover? No friends? Nothing? A job. Your blank stare tells him the whole story. He merely stops prying and gives you something even worse, a look of pity. An honest look of compassion. Even the, even the, uh, even the vampire guy's like, ah, oh, man, that sucks. Alright, Bloodmon, take care, dude. Have a good one. Well, that makes things simpler, but let me be crystal clear, just in case. From this point on, you are subject to different laws than the ones you grew up under, and you'll be watched by many eyes to ensure these laws are respected. You are forbidden from letting anyone know you're still alive. You are forbidden from showing your face anywhere they know you. If anyone comes looking for you, it's over for both them and you. That practice tone again. You put on your poker face and listen in silence. So unless you want your boss to end up at the bottom of the Hudson, I suggest you cooperate. Don't tempt me. He smiles, revealing his fangs again. Something absolutely sickening about it. Suddenly you feel overwhelmed by a sense of exhaustion and pass out. Blech! When you regain your senses, you find yourself in the stranger's arms. The man is holding you as a spouse who had had hold a spouse who's had a little bit too much to drink. You try to break free, but he holds you close and gives you a cautioning look. Only when you cease your struggling does he let you go. Only now do you notice the change in scenery. You find yourself in a fancy lobby right next to the elevator. This place is virtually empty, save for a single concierge and some cleaning staff. Your companion gestures at the concierge as you pass, and he picks up the phone. The elevator arrives, the door opens, and the man motions towards the cabin. Did we get to choose our clan? There were three, in fact, at the very start. Yes. Ventru, uh, Bruja, and uh, Toriodon. After you. Where are we going? To a safe place. That's all you need to know. Trust me, you don't want to make this difficult. Just get it. We're going to behave ourselves for now. Going against your instincts, you enter the cabin. Smooth jazz is playing over the speakers as the elevator starts its descent. You are dazed, panicky, but somehow locked in place. On the one hand, you find the stranger's presence oddly soothing. On the other hand, you can feel your body tensing up with stress. You can't help but think back to the young waiter, the doe-eyed look on his face, and the confused look he gave you just before. Ugh, no, it's better not to think about it. Plus, you have other things to worry about, like the fact you've just been kidnapped. 
Writing mouse would be hard. No mouse, yeah, no mouse in this one. Don't worry. We'll end, we'll end the stream with some uh, bloodlines. We'll do, we'll we'll, uh, we'll go see VV. As is as is the rules with anything vampire related. The cabin door opens to the same garage. You, I I'll be said garage room. Uh, gar garage. Uh, you arrived at the investor some hours ago. The man shows you a black Cadillac es Escalade. I know what you're thinking. Getting into a car with a strange some strange man. Boy, sure seems like a dumb idea. Maybe I can make a run for it. I might be able to lose him. Let me be perfectly clear. Your best bet is to get in, relax, and enjoy the ride. I bet that's what... No, I, I didn't say that because it looks pretty scary, but you know. The waiter? Do you think the waiter upstairs? Is he Is he going to be alright? Yes. You look him in the eyes and you can immediately tell he's lying. No more questions. Get in the car, please. Seems like the worst idea ever, but the man's made it very clear that you have no choice in the matter. Are you going to hurt me? Mouse can read the skip script, but they can't tell context. Yeah, and they see it as like jumbled, messy. Oh, ooh, is there someone walking behind the thing there? Spooky. Are you going to hurt me? No, not tonight at the very least, unless you make me. He takes a glance at his expensive looking watch. Listen, you really need to quit stalling. We're on a bit of a schedule here. The sun comes up in like two hours and I don't intend to be here when it does. The sun? What does it matter when the sun comes up? Ah, you really don't know, do you? Good thing I got here when you did. Or when I did. He opens the car door and gestures towards it. You see no point in delaying the inevitable so you get in. Where to? The door locks behind you. The Cadillac is almost entirely dark. The side windows seem light proof. The man gets into the driver's seat, starts the engine drives away without another word. Did I die? Depends on your definition of death. Listen, I realise you have many questions, but tomorrow you'll get some answers. But tonight you need to do what I say, and right now I need some quiet, please. You feel too confused to protest. You stay silent for the rest of the ride, even as questions bubble up to the surface. One of them being, did I actually kill someone tonight? Nom 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 nom. Hey, brethren. We're looking good in the two-piece. Ever I know everyone keeps saying it looks like me. I'm, like, secretly, you're doing a vampire. I think he looks... I think he's uh, better, look, better looking than I am, mind you. And I'm not a vampire. But otherwise, it, it is, I see some similarities, though. Let's have a look. What did Pumpkin draw? I need to see. Need to see! Who put me in the game? Why am I wearing a suit? <laughs> Lewd. <laughs> That's freaking great. Why am I wearing a suit? <laughs> oh, thank you, Feather. Oh, thank you very much. Definitely the last stuff you can get. That's really nice of you. Thank you so much, Feather. You've Lewd. done loads. You've done absolutely loads. So thank you for that. Wiener's Alicard. Nom, 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 nom. Staring out of the window, you find it hard to focus and quickly lose track of where you're headed. You can only tell that you haven't left Manhattan. Another underground parking, almost featureless, empty. The car stops and the man opens the door for you. We're here. The stranger walks you to a nearby door. He opens it and mentions it, uh, motions you to get in. Go on, make yourself comfortable. If you get hungry, again, take a look in the fridge. I'll pick you up tomorrow and you'll get your answers. Behind the door is a small room. No windows, just a simple bed and a single light bulb hanging from the ceiling. A small fridge is humming away in the corner, accompanied by a rattling AC fan in the wall. Where are you going? I have to make some arrangements for tomorrow, of course. Look, this room is your best chance of seeing another night. I realise you've been put in a, uh, problematic situation, and it's not entirely your fault. Cooperate and you might still make it. You will learn more tomorrow, but for the time being, get in and get cosy. He gestures inside the room. You step inside, the stranger nods. Good night. He locks the door behind you. He looks very sturdy. You open the fridge. There's a single plastic bag there filled with a red liquid. Tomato soup? You feel sick to your stomach. Eh, yeah, best leave it for now. Tomato soup? It's full of bob blood. Do I need to cosplay as the stranger? Isn't that just me in a suit, though? 
I mean, Tony sent me this suit. Dunno, what do you reckon? It's simple mattress on a metal frame. At least it's not too filthy. You think back to how this evening began. This investor? Is he friends with the dark-skinned stranger who picked you up from the restaurant? What happens now? Unable to relax, you spend an hour or so playing out various scenarios in your head. Eventually, you decide to give in and let exhaustion take over. Whatever tomorrow brings, you'd rather face it while rested. Plus, there's no way in hell your boss isn't going to notice your absence tomorrow. That and someone, someone the restaurant staff will feel a pang of conscience. Someone will notify the police. Someone will find me, right? You flash back to the waiter's tattoo. The bloody Rita Hayworth winking at you over a pale mess of a wound. You did this. You bit him. You drank his blood and it tasted good. So how much did you pay uh, to play to get it put in the game? I wish. I wish they had, they've been really funny. Like, legitimately, if it, I'd love to have actually been put into a game like this. How cool would that be? Especially a vampire game. I'd be, I'd be well jailed. What if you can never go home again? You are so tired. Your entire body tenses up one last time before you know it. You drift away. You wake up. That in itself was a surprise. You barely remember when you drifted off. It didn't feel quite like sleep. More like plummeting into an endless void. You imagine that's how death feels like. The room is unchanged. The lamp is still on. The AC is still rattling. The refrigerator is still humming. You take a look at your watch. It's almost 9pm. You slept for 17 hours straight. Maybe you died. Your breath is gone and you feel no thumping in your chest. Does that qualify as dead if you're still conscious? Sounds good, Umbra. I'm always game for being in the game. The stranger is cosplaying as Ween. <gasps> do, you reckon, do you reckon I'm cool enough to be cosplayed as? That's awesome. Who gave you the game code? It was um, the PR for this uh, for the um, people who made this. It was a lady. I should send her. I should be like, yeah. Am I the stranger? What happened? You're not sure about that, but you're certain about one thing. You are hungry, and it's not your stomach rumbling. It's a need that starts somewhere in your abdomen, spreads to your chest, throat, and the back of your head. You open the fridge. The bag is still there. You take a look at it. If it is soup, the colour and texture is off. You pull the cork out and take a whiff. You recognise the smell immediately. Holy shit. There's no mistake in it. It's bagged blood. The smell is faint, and you remember some sen sensations in the past where you found it nauseating. But now it's almost... No, not almost. It is enticing. Put the blood... Drink the blood! Nom 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 nom! It feels wrong, but right now there's barely anything in your life that doesn't. To hell with it! You pour a bit of the liquid into your mouth. It tastes like shit. It's coppery, thick, and clings to your tongue and inside of your mouth like a film of dirt. You swallow hard regardless. The taste is foul, but somehow you kind of want more of it. As you taste a second sip, sucking the blood out of the bag, you feel something pull on your insides. You double over, you're going to barf. Uh, you seem to cover your mouth looking for a place to vomit, but before you find it, a dark red wave washes over your hand and fingers, hits the floor spattering the huge thick drops. You keep heaving Blood. for a moment longer. Nothing is coming out. Not blood, not bile, not even spit, but still something in your body wants to push it out. Push it out every last drop. Worst gazpacho soup ever, right? Dirty. Pass me the salt for my rat. Wait, this isn't rat. This is Norvo Vampire Cuisine. <laughs> Bleh. Nouveau. Nouveau? Nouveau. Bleh. Thank you, Nolish. I'm back. And I'm spilling everything. What did you get? What did you get? Was it good? As you recover, trying to wipe droplets of regurgitated blood from your dress. Oh no, my dress. You hear the lock click and see the door open. Standing there is the well-dressed stranger cosplaying as Ween you met yesterday. Immaculate suit again. That predatory like... That predatory look like a hawk on a hunt. But somehow more relaxed tonight. It's like a tamed hawk, maybe. Good evening. Burger King burger, chicken fries, and regular fries. Oh, mm. that sounds so nice. That sounds really good. I kind of wish I'd done that instead of got bad, bad pizza. Is this a new Vampire the Masquerade? It's a new Vampire the Masquerade. It's not Bloodlines 2, but it's a visual novel. Ventures are superior vampires. That's why we can't drink the blood. Yep. That's why we, why we puked it. Good evening, how was... He noticed the splatter, your red hand, the sick look on your face. He barely contains a smirk. Oh, was the catering unable to satisfy your exquisite taste? Apologies. Offer him a drink. Was that really blood? Oh, look at my purse, I got a nice purse. Is that you? I think it might be Jessica. It's a decent visual novel. It is. 
Lude. They can be polite and pass me the salt for my rat, dude. Type R H negative uh, R H uh, negative plus. Wait, no. R H. Wait. Type. Wait. Type O positive. Is that supposed to be? Sorry, I've never seen it written like that, weirdly. Not that easy to get. Guess you'll have to discover your drink of choice on your own. Come on, we've got places to be. I should have some water and a towel in the back of the car so you can clean yourself up. The car is humming in the empty parking lot just outside the door of the cramped room you spent the day in. The man motions to it politely but with a stern look on his face. Get inside the car. It's not like I have a choice, right? Correct, but your cooperation is appreciated nonetheless. You take the back seat again. The doors lock and the strange takes the wheel and starts the car. Typo negative. I don't wanna be. I don't wanna be. Oh, we sh oh, that's a sign. That's a sign. We got we got uh, O positive there, aren't we? But uh, o, o negative now. Maybe we need to uh, visit VV at the end of the stream. I think that lot of vampires in this do have a reflection. I think it's only one type of vampire in one of the clans that doesn't have a reflection. The rest of them do. Your own negative IRL. You know what it's like to have people after your blood. Vampires, but with needles. Beep. You drive in silence for a while, from time to time. You keep trying to catch glimpses of familiar streets or landmarks through the blackened windows, but it's of little use. The car is almost is also soundproofed, so you can hear a bit of traffic humming in the car's engine. The driver doesn't say anything and seems focused on the road. He's a safe driver. You check the door handle. Yeah, the door is locked to right. The piece of dark glass separating you from the front of the car looks sturdy too. Nothing left to do but wait. You didn't have time to think about it before, but you realise now that you're hungry? No, not exactly, but a rumbling stomach. That, it's not a rumbling stomach that grabs your attention. It's a knee that starts somewhere in your abdomen and spreads your chest. Wait, we've already had this though. <laughs> that spreads your chest, throat and back of the head. You become restless. This is essentially a kidnapping. Whatever this guy says about its purpose, it doesn't change the fact you're being held against your will and you're not used to following orders when you can't delegate them to someone else. You feel a need to get a semblance of control over the situation, so you decide to prove yourself useful. I have a worthwhile skill set. Listen, I'm an investment advisor and I have a lot of experience in fintech. Whatever your organization is, it might find a use for me. I don't even have any idea what fintech is, and honestly, I don't care to find out. A short pause. I'll be frank. Currently, you're in no position to offer anything, anybody anything. The sooner you accept that, the better. Are we in London? No, we're in uh, New York. How far into the game are we? Uh, I don't know, like 20 minutes, probably. I think I'm O positive, actually. I think my, that's my blood type. The stranger could be Venture, actually, yeah. Uh, he, certainly, he certainly has that sort of feel to him, doesn't he? Curse him out, call him a nobody. Ridicule his lack of am ambition. Hmm. Curse him out. Pig-headed fuckboy. Hey! Language. A short pause. He actually looks insulted. Your attitude won't help you make friends, and in your current position, you definitely need some. Consider that. Preferably in silence. The dull hunger strikes again. The powerlessness hurts. You were used to people listening to you, or pretending to care about your demands, at the very least. The driver doesn't play that game, and it annoys you to no end. It takes you another 20 or so minutes to get to your destination. As the door opens, you try to get your bearings. You're still in New York, that much is certain. Queens, maybe. After me. No sudden movements, please. Wien is driving the car, damn right. Getting in the suit. Nice. I mean, Wien was looking for an LP at this game. Oh, yeah. I suppose it, I suppose this kind of thing could make a good LP. It is definitely a sort of listen to its story time, story time kind of, kind of game, isn't it? If people like this, by the way, I'm more than happy to like maybe at the end of every stream, like do half an hour to an hour of it, maybe depending on how it goes. We could see. Mm -hmm. Oh God, I don't know. Saying that, jeez, I wonder what the tramadol would do to my blood. I never really checked that actually. You approach a nice-looking building that houses a two-story gallery called the Art Hole. <laughs> Two large men in suits flank the door on both sides, and they give your companion a nod as you approach. Prompted by the stranger guiding you, you walk inside. The gallery is full, which is unusual at this hour, to say the least. About two dozen faces fill the showroom, and a number of waiters navigate the gathering, serving drinks. 
all of them are beneath the guest attention. Would you get a few people to read in with you? Do you want to do all the voice yourself? I'll do it all myself. I think it's easier to um, be easier to sort of coordinate that way anyway. Oh yeah, if you if you yeah if you if you live there during the uh, cow blood stuff, yeah, which is a bit weird. When Goldhawk? I don't know actually. I don't I don't get to spend too much time with Kiko these days, so. Not quite sure. The visitors are well dressed for the most part, but it's unclear what they've gathered here for. Nobody seems to be particularly interested in the art pieces on the wall, and the atmosphere is uh, polite, unnaturally so. Please. Many guests turn to look at you and the stranger when they brought you here. Their glances are varied, very ominous. This is what I wear to dr what I dress like to work. What a beautiful uh, bl uh, unbuttoned blouse showing off my cleavage. Absolutely. T Tickball. Tickball's a good man. An art gallery gets excited. Eee, artwork. You see open contempt on a few faces and animated interest on others. Most of the eyes in the room calmly observe you, as if wishing to appraise your worth. This reminds you of your company meetings. You, the only woman in the room, silently judged not on her merits but standing on the list, passed in clandestine email threads between your male co-workers. Until HR found out, that is. Not the most pleasant experience, but there's no denying it taught you resilience. When others would cower, you now straighten up. When others would meet, turn their gaze, you meet the eyes of the gallery's guests with confidence. No, the Alucard wing. Oh no, no. Yeah, I guess. No, I don't. I don't dress like that particularly normally. I, I do wear a shirt though. Good evening, Kader. Yeah, I guess Kader. And to you, child. The noble, cold voice takes you out of your head and back into the situation of the gallery. A crowd of strangers. You being brought here against your will, and for what purpose? The room awaits your response. Good evening, miss. You are addressing the Prince of New York City. Helene Panhard, child of Michaela. Helena? Helene? Helene? Helen, maybe? I'm not quite sure why you do that. Ah, he's the sheriff of the prince. Interesting. That makes a lot of sense. So she's the prince and he's the sheriff. Nice. This sheriff's a lot more talkative than the last one. Thank you, my sheriff, but I am capable of introducing myself. She is somewhat plain looking and doesn't seem to possess a great deal of charm, but still the entire room is intently focused on her voice. She has influence over these people. That much is clear. Helen. Yeah. Dr. Jonathan Reed outfit. Now that would be a swag outfit at all times. You should dress like Kiryu to work one day. I'd love to see that. If I had his suit and his shirt, I would totally do that. You may address me as Prince, child. I realise your introduction into Unlife was abrupt, and I understand your sire left shortly after. The rules of our society dictate I punish you both for this transgression. A murmur... Agreement, maybe? Can be heard from the audience. But I am willing to listen to what our loyal sheriff has to say about the circumstances of your embrace first. I don't understand. Wait, I'm confused. What are you saying? I think it shall become clear momentarily. You will push headfirst into a world you have not realised the existence of, but before you can partake in it, there needs to be a trial. You are about to be judged by the court of New York City. Kadir, please tell us how you found the fledgling and what happened in the way here. Court? Prince? Is this kind of secret society make-believe? A trusted informant who has chosen to remain anonymous at this time tipped me off about a suspicious kindred appearing in one of our domains. Lude. Yeah, I don't think they're called princesses, are they? I think they're called princes. Like, I think I think that's just the title. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not a gender title. It's just a title. I think. It's just the Camarilla title, isn't it? Trust me, Kiel. If uh, Kiel, if I look that cool, I'd totally rock it. Upon investigating, I found them gone, but this fledgling remained in their place. A reservation made in the private lounge of the patrician seems to uh, ugh, patrician suggests that one sire had plenty of resources to spend. However, they are apparently also well connected. I lost track of them. Despite some reservations, she offered little resistance last night and cooperated on our way to the safe house. I was pleased to not have to force her compliance. Opening the doors of the safe house tonight, I was greeted by the most disturbing sight of her drenched in regurgitated blood. Apparently the bag supply we kept in the fridge was 
not to her liking. The remark elicits a contemptuous chuckle from one of the gathered guests as they note the remains of blood on your skirt. Hey, Pyro guys. Oh, good. Best luck to you, dude. I hope it all goes alright. Fingers crossed. It was not an elegant sight, but that hardly matters, I suppose. Moving on. We had a quick chat, but wishing to appear here post haste, I urged her to join me, which she did without struggle. A pleasant departure from my usual routine, I must say. During our drive here, she showed me her fangs, metaphorically speaking, posturing as if we were equals, insulting me when it didn't work. I refrained from causing her physical harm, but I expect her ego might still be a bit bruised. He looks at you and flashes a nasty smile. The story ends with us arriving at Elysium tonight. All eyes on you again. You take a special interest in one of the faces. It's a beautiful woman with curly, almost blood-red hair and a dress to match. You see her whispering to some bespectacled man with an absent-minded look on his face. Who is she, you wonder? Thank you, Kadar. I will take note of the fledgling to behave and I'll take it into consideration later. She turns her attention to you. First, there is a matter of your sire. The person who brought you where Kadar picked you up last night. Who were they? Bespectacled, oh my. It's Daddy. Is it Daddy? Yeah, the music has that sort of loads of feel. I see what you mean, actually, yeah. A handsome businessman, I guess. An entrepreneur, an acquaintance of my boss, I think. Good looking, pale blue eyes and some grey in his hair. Charming, abusive, cold son of a bitch. You'd feel tired and angry. The whole situation, spending the day in some underground parking lot, having to bear the looks of a room full of strangers. It's almost too much to take in stride. There's no reason you should take it all in stride, but you do, because there's one thing that your professional career has taught you, and it's that. All because of that asshole, whoever he was, he never even gave you a name, or a card, nothing. Well, Kadar, does that sound familiar? No, it does not. Or at least not familiar enough. I will continue the search after we're done here. He talked with someone to the, at the restaurant. He, the man, he talked to someone at the restaurant before he left. I, I can't remember what he said, but he wasn't alone. Maybe that's a lead you can follow? Did he now? That is interesting. I do hope the proprietor won't stay mad at us for losing one of his staff. It's almost like he knows the waiter's fate is still bothering you and takes pleasure in pointing it out. What a douche. It sounds like Maximilian. Strauss. <laughs> wouldn't it be cool if it was Strauss? Imagine if it was Strauss. No hair. Glasses. Daddy. Thank you for the observation. I'll investigate it later. What shall I do with the fledgling, my prince? What is your recommendation, my sheriff? Please. For addition to clear, that clear, thou, bleh, thou shalt only sire another with permission of thine elder. If thou createst another without thine elder's leave, both thou and thy progeny shall be slain. I am ready to fulfil my duty. Stay your hand for just a moment longer, Kadir. I wish to consult my counsel on this. Make sure everyone is in agreement. Of course. He seems strangely relieved. The prince leaves the main showroom and a handful of people follow her out. You want to ask this Kadar what the talk of traditions and council was when the red handed woman approaches the two of you. Sophie. Sheriff, I was wondering if I could have a word with the fledgling. Hello, Sophie. He's cute. You heard Strauss? Maybe Strauss. We might be Straussing. Oh no, she's hot. What for? She lowers her voice in response. Come now, Kadar. We all know what the verdict is going to be. Let me speak to them. You might not have to stay in your hands tonight after all. Her words grab his attention. His face is hard to read. It's like several emotions are struggling for dominance. Anger, sadness, hope, gratitude, resolve. I'll go get my sword. He steps out of the room the way you came, and you are left in the showroom with the woman in the red dress. She takes you aside, and the eyes of the remaining guests follow you. Well then, fledgling. You're in quite the pickle. Lewd. What do you mean? I get that the prince doesn't necessarily have to be male, like the Pirate King in Pirates of the Caribbean is also titled for women, but I don't see why Redhead can't be a princess. Maybe she is a princess. Sleep with her? I do think it, the vamp vampires don't normally do the sex. Well, it's pretty, they can do, but it's pretty rare, isn't it? I don't understand what my crime is here. Interesting fact, by the way, that I found out. Uh, our hair will never grow. Our vampiress will have short hair for the remainder of her life. Because you're dead, your hair doesn't grow. Wah -wah. Weird, isn't it?
poor thing, this really isn't your fault. But if you want to get out of here in one piece, you need to understand one crucial fact that seems to have eluded your grasp. Last night, you became a vampire. Wait, what? What? Nanny? Oh yes, I'm well aware how ridiculous that sounds. It's the reason why we have these nicer words for it. Kindred, being embraced, having a sire. The fact remains. The beings called vampires? You're looking at them. They're us. Have you noticed, by the way, everybody's eyes are glowing. Like, it's quite, it's quite subtle, but it's, uh, it's a nice effect, actually. So, one bad haircut is fucked forever. Yep, pretty much. One thing I don't understand, because your body, every time you sleep in Vampire, every time you rest for the night and wake back up, your body returns to how it was. So, in theory, if you had long hair, you could probably cut it, and then it would come back to how it was, I think. I'll have, to, I'll have to check that up again, but I think that's how it works. Lude. It's the evil eyes again. It is the evil eyes, isn't it, the kill? You glance around. Some of the guests are still occasionally looking at you, commenting on you in hushed tones. Many of the patrons are pale. Really pale. Imagine the barber, right? You, being a vampire barber would be legit. Most hold better glasses of wine. Not wine. No, not the right thickness. Not the right colour. You're trying to come up with something sensible to say, but you're drawing a blank. It makes a morbid kind of sense. You drank blood last night, there's no denying it. And your breathing has not returned, and your heart remains still. Wine, quote quote, indeed. A vampire. Two voices in your head start battling for supremacy. One of them slowly begins to put everything that happened since yesterday together, coming to the conclusion that no matter how insane it might seem, nothing but what she's saying makes sense. The other voice just keeps saying, What the fuck? What the fuck? On repeat. You're surprised. This is often how it plays out by design. Kadar deliberately keeping you in the dark and all. If we do nothing, you'll be cut down, as sure as the day follows night. But I'm here to offer you a chance. A way out. Under one condition. Lude. I will take you under my wing. If you're lucky, the prince will be in a good mood tonight. And, and Kadar's complaint about your behaviour won't indulge, influence her judgement. This society values docility. She might agree to this, but only if you swear fealty to me. I'm not making this offer lightly. As your patron, I will take responsibility for you. Your actions will reflect on me. If they reflect negatively, well, I will make sure you face the consequences. What happens if I agree? Suppose I say yes, what happens then? You survive, hopefully. Or not, depending on the prince's whim. I'm giving you a chance, not a guarantee. Yeah, the lack of pulse would be quite severe, I think. But if you take me as your patron, I will be your guide in this new reality, and you will assist me like a child would a sire. Steps and hushed voices can be heard from the side room. It seems the prince and her council are returning to the showroom. Kadar appears from downstairs and starts walking towards you. When you hear the verdict, ask to be spared, I will intervene. Remember my condition. She flashes a heart-melting smile towards Kadar, who does not smile back. The sheriff's immaculate suit is now complemented by a curved, oriental-looking metal scabbard. Fastened with a colourful sash around his waist. It would look vaguely ridiculous if it wasn't surprisingly intimidating first and foremost. Kadar takes his place next to you and observes as the prince takes centre stage again. Anyone gives you a hand? Uh, everyone has an ulterior motive, Technomax. It's the world of vampire. Absolutely everyone has a motive. Absolutely everybody wants to take things from you. No one is doing anything out of the goodness of their not heart, shall we say. Loyal kindred of the New York City Camarilla gathered here tonight. I've made my decision regarding the fledgling. Their behaviour being, since being embraced has been disagreeable, and that does not bode well for them becoming a valued member of that society. What do you mean disagreeable? I behaved. You are all keenly aware of these nights we need to keep our ranks and trust of the wisdom of our elders and their traditions more than ever before. And our trusted sheriff pointed out there can only be one course of action. Although I acknowledge some of our council's divergent opinions on this. She takes a look specifically at one of the people who left the room before. A somewhat plainly dressed, shy looking man, whose skin has a somewhat healthier tone. He bows his head in, defiant, in deference. I hold the final authority over this fledgling's fate, and I declare that while their embrace might be their sire's responsibility, in their absence it is their progeny that shall be punished. The sentence is final death, to be resolved presently. Good eye. You hear a scraping sound and see the sheriff has unsheathed the curved sword. Fucking camera, Goddamn camis! He swore at Kadar and vomited the blood. Yeah, I mean, the blood bit wasn't my fault. Oh, the, no, the waiter wasn't really either. Is that new vampire caitiff? 
Uh, essentially, yeah. To find sharp to make you freeze up. Two outs, bottom of the ninth. His quiet mumble is audible to no one but you. As his eyes meet yours, you note a hint of sadness in his countenance. One that quickly vanishes to give way grim determination. And he's out to bat. You will not get another chance to speak up. Ask for mercy. You make your choice. Spare me, please. Don't make me be beg, goddammit. Prince, if I may ask you to stay the sheriff's hand a little while longer. Kidar looks at the prince, awaiting for, a res awaiting for a response. The sword is still hanging above you, threatening to fall at a moment's notice. Is there something you'd like to say, Ms. Langley? Yes, if I may. At first, the prince looks somewhat annoyed at the distraction, but she stays quiet for a while, measuring the mood of the room. The bored elites suddenly look at you with aroused interest. Some of them dismayed at not seeing the bloodshed, but all intrigued by the unexpected twist. The prince nods. It's fucking Camarilla Fox! I'm gonna rip off his wizard shoe! Well, let's hear it. Sophie takes a few steps forward. All eyes are on her now, but Kadal's heavy hand on your shoulder makes it clear you won't take advantage of the situation. My prince, while the traditions are clear, I believe that the proper context should always be observed in addition to the letters of our laws. This fledgling is a burden. We're a proper guidance. They could become an asset to our domain. And I understand you are volunteering to take this unruly child under your protection. Yes. I am willing to give them a chance and prove to the entire domain that they can adhere to our expectations. I will take nothing less than their full cooperation, naturally. Whiskers will be heard again. An incredulous voice too, a hushed, just behead the fucker. Some surprised exclamations. Silence. I ask all of you to make a note at this moment. I might be persuaded to bend one tradition in this child's favour, but another will have to be enforced even more firmly in its stead. Until thy progeny shall be released, thou shalt command them in all things. Their sins are thine to endure. Are you certain that's a responsibility you wish to shoulder, Miss Langley? Oh, so this is Bloodline, is it? This is so bloodlines it hurts, except you've got a redhead instead of nine speaking up for you. Yeah. <laughs> so, it certainly feels like that's how it's uh, going. The text of Ian, thank you so much for six months of subscription. Thank you very, very much. That's extremely lovely of you. She's our new vampire, Mum. I'm willing to guide this fledgling and add a valuable ally to our sect in this time of need, yes. But I would like to receive the res right of destruction over them if it pleases you. Remain silent. It's clear tensions are high. It feels surreal to listen to strangers discussing your death, or second death, apparently. You decide it's for the best to let Sophie handle this alone and not interject. You have no idea how to handle this eyes wide shut crowd. The prince looks at you, weighing your worth. Takes another good measure of room before she speaks again. I shall grant you what you ask. Let it be known, Sophie Langley of the Clan of the Rose, the Torrid or will become this fledgling's patron, and they shall consider be considered like sire and child. Miss Langley will take full responsibility for them, and I grant her the right of destruction if she sees fit to use it. Let my intentions be clear, however. If I am to turn a blind eye to one of our most important traditions, I expect it to be beneficial to the Camarilla. Substantially so. I hope you find this verdict satisfactory, Miss Langley. Of course, Prince. Thank you. Very well. She turns to you. What is your name, child? Victoria, Prince. She nods. Welcome to the Camarilla. Now then, this evening proved to be even more eventful than I anticipated, but with the fledgling's fate decided, I believe our uh, meeting here can conclude. Thank you all for appearing on such short notice. Give my regards to those who couldn't make it. Kadar, a moment of time before I let you return to your duties? Of course, Prince. He shoots you a side glance that doesn't leave much space for interpretation. You will be watched, you will be judged, and if need be, you will be punished. Oh, isn't that exciting? Yeah, it's a Torridor Lead. group, yeah. Clan of the Rose, yes. Dictionary updated, you are now words of smeg, slag. We had slutty dress earlier as well. Well, Victoria, I think we've both already managed to significantly improve each other's evenings. But let's keep the ball rolling, shall we? I think we should have a toast to a new fruitful partnership. She raises her hand at one of the well-dressed concierges who now have reappeared in the showroom. The conveniently handsome man approaches with a carafe? Car Carafe? Carafe? A red liquid. The memory of throwing up in the safe house is still freshing in your mind, but the idea that it could happen again is almost enough to reject the drink altogether, but there's no design you want it. Lead. I remember what Kadar said about your uh, <clears throat> misadventure before getting in the car. Some of us have more delicate palates than others. 
Try to take a small sip, civil play. He pours it into two tall glasses. You can barely wait until he hands you the drink. <laughs> Your attention is fully on it. The fact it's blood, you are certain of it, doesn't faze you this time. Hey, Alanelli. Oh, thank you very much, man. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you so much for the gift sub, dude. Karaf? Karaf? Oh, Karaf, okay. Yeah, thank you very, very much, Alanelli. That's lovely of you, dude. How you doing, man? It's difficult to take just a sip, even though the taste is as foul before. You attempt to down the whole glass in one go. You wait before taking a second taste. You're glad you did. A feeling like heartburn signals that you can't keep it down. You spit it back up inside the glass, and Sophie looks on intrigued. I'm not surprised. New York City caters, uh, have, caterers have very bourgeois ideas about what good blood should taste like. Well, you just need to keep trying. At Sophie's request, the concierge serves you three other variants of blood. The first two are as horrible and indigestible as before both ending up back in the glass within moments of tasting them. Before the third try, you're almost ready to throw the glass at the wall in frustration, but finally, this one's different. Instead of mud and decay, a surprisingly rich bouquet of taste. You feel blissfully at ease, and Sophie takes notice. Ah, there it is. Jacob, would you kindly let us know who the donor was? Leave the bottle, please. The concierge notices and leaves again. You take another sip, and another. You empty the glass. The dull feeling in your stomach and head start subsiding, but you still want more. Sophie pours you another glass and refills hers. She takes a sip. You have a curiously specific taste, Victoria. Is it the clover notes, the traces of caffeine, or that bitter sweet aftertaste of melancholy? You taste nothing of the kind, but it doesn't matter. It's tasty. Nom, 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 nom. But not as delicious as it was last night. Not as intoxicating. It manages to silence the hunger somewhat, though. It's, yeah, it's, it's obviously the best way to start a story because unless... The thing is, with the, with the campaign, of course, you can build a backstory that your vampire's been part of it for ages. Doing that, with, doing that with a game would leave a player who doesn't know vampire very well a bit out of sorts. So having you start in a fish-out-of-water scenario allows both you, the player, and the character together to learn at the same time. And that's a really important thing. It's, it's, something, it's something to really t take into account. That, that's a very important storytelling aspect of these things. And of course, it allows you to be surprised with things that happen. So, there you go. Drinking blood puts you at ease. It's a strange realisation. The man named Jacob comes back with a small card and leaves it with Sophie. He takes a quick look and passes it on to you. It's someone's medical details. An office worker. Male. Caucasian. 32 years... Uh, 32 years old. Blood type. Uh, AB positive. Blue eyes. Brown hair. No history of substance abuse. New Jersey native. Might one of those details what makes a difference. Now that we picked the right bouquet for your palate, these documents should be useful in identifying your exact tastes. Should they be O positive or Joycey boys? But I believe I have more questions now. Perhaps we should start with those related to sustenance. Uh, how much do I have to drink? I feel this hunger constantly. How much do I have to drink to make it go away? Sad reality is it will never go away. No matter how much you drink, you'll always be tempted to have more. Unless you consume someone wholly to the last drop, pray, paying for temporary relief with their life, but that is a one-way road to losing your humanity. Best start by taking a single sip from a vessel. Be prudent. Hot, fresh blood will be more satisfying than anything they serve in a fancy glass, but it can make you more, uh, voracious. Joycey, indeed. Juicy, boys. Mm, juicy. The situation has good blood. <laughs> I love to think the fact if a vampire bit me, they'd be like, Jesus, the fuck have you been taking? It's like, sorry, dude. Sorry, I'm, I'm just I'm just bad. I'm just, I'm just bad. I got bad, bad blood. As to how much you should have, it depends. If you're frugal, you can survive many nights without a single drink, but it's risky and you will tempt the beast. That is part of our curse. Tomorrow, I should take you hunting and we should explore this topic further. The blood you're having tonight should be enough to keep you happy for now. Uh, what's this? Do we have a save? Oh, we have... Uh, the camera reload. Okay, that's the dictionary. What's the other one then? Maybe it's a different menu? Ah, okay. Right, it is getting reasonably late, so I'm gonna save and stop here a minute. I guess that's supposed to be Sophie? Although I still don't get the apple. That worries me somewhat.
Maybe it's a blood apple. It is it's interesting, isn't it? I like it. I like it. But as is vampire tradition, allow me to uh, vampire up some more quickly. We have, we have a, uh, a friendly stripper to visit. We leave on a cliffhanger, of course. I only have further questions. In the original World of Darkness, a vampire could spend blood to make an organ work again. Yes, yeah, they could. They can they can do that with uh, many organs. That's how that's how they simulate sex as well, isn't it? You'll stay for the VV. Night, Umbra. Take it easy, dude. Did anyone miss VV? VV's a good lady. It's been a while since we visited the VV. The World of Darkness is fascinating. I absolutely love it. I'm so so looking forward to more. And the fact I have saying I have the World of Darkness uh, on on my body now as a tattoo is uh, says something, doesn't it? Look who's back. Look who's back. Thank God someone's talking finally. My voice is getting dead. Please call me Vivi. Hello, Vivi. Mhm. Mm Boing. All right, Theo. Take care, dude. I didn't, I, I didn't even know there was a werewolf game coming out. I think someone mentioned it briefly. I, I, I recalled it, but it could be interesting. Oh, I suppose I should just tear it up. But I just... I say this every I single can't. time. I can't rip up the product of that man's soul. I am always Here. absolutely stunned by how good the facial animations are. Tear it up for me. It's ridiculous. It absolutely ridiculous. Every time I, every time I say it, it just... <laughs> I yeah I know I know pumpkin I say it, I say it all the time but it's just it's so good it's so good like it's it's ridiculous they they just they just had this on lockdown and they they just really did it well Hey playful you know what my tattoo is right <laughs> Thanks Are they I mean I mean did you did you it must have been difficult, but take some comfort in knowing if you hadn't, someone else would have had to. Yeah, Bambi looks dead, do doesn't she? I feel I feel kind of sorry for Bambi. It looks like she got dollars coming out of her stomach, and someone's put her head in a vice. I'm a bit puzzled. Can't you tell? Fish mouth. Yeah, I've got the I've got the mouth broken so mirror as my tattoo. The way you protect me. Well, I got I got two tattoos. I got the Alice one on my left, and I got the Malk on my right. Why can't they all be like you? pompous you? Toreador the crybaby. Can be so, so beautiful. Here, take this. A reminder of the beautiful girl whose heart you stole. What about something more personal? Maybe our own little private show. Maybe I'll give you your own very private show. Sounds good. Copyright claim me, baby. Old typo negative. What? She loved us and leaved us. What the hell? Yeah, the player character model looks weird in the scene because of the neck. Because her neck gets stretched in that scene because of the way she's sitting, it looks a bit odd. 
I do love her coat though. She looks great. The Tremere, the Tremere vamp's one of my favourite looking ones. I think she looks great. Although the Malk's still, uh, still best. Good night, the kill. Yeah, we got a Malky mode. It's a new one done by Pumpkin. Look, it's Chunk. Ah, oh, good old Chunk. Oh, it's Chunk getting a lap dance. Is that Bambi? Is that you, Bambi? Bambi, if it is Bambi, she doesn't blink. Bambi's dead inside. Bless you, Bambi. Ah, uh, good times. Shocking twist, all the strippers are vampires. Actually, interestingly, I don't, I think, I'm, try, I'm trying to think, I think the only actual vampire in there is a Vui Vui. Uh, why is Vampire the Masquerade so comfy? Vote Robert Thorne. He has puppies. Vote Robert Thorne. He is not a murderous child pornographer. Oh, there you go. I mean, that's a good enough reason. Right there. And he's got puppies. Seguero Falls will make you wet. Oh, so wet. Glorious. Don't vomit blood, Mr. Policeman. That's not good for you. Have you considered not vomiting blood? The beast has taken over! The beast! Oh no, the police is kicking the shit out of me. Damn my weedy arms. What the shit? Get down from there, you! It's the fuzz! <laughs> I didn't lose that much humanity. All things considered, that was pretty, uh... Ooh, hello. Madam, can I talk to you about... Oh, shit. Come back here. Mm, delicious. Whoops. She's probably fine. She's just sleeping. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I hope you had a nice stream tonight. Yakuza was good, and I honestly, I'm, I'm impressed with Ooh. vampires, uh, vampire coteries in New York. That's good, that is. No, not the FBI. I don't know. I didn't kill. Weiner's never killed a single person. True story. Right. Catch you later, lovelies. Right, where's the old? Uh... Eh. There we go. Ladies, everyone. Take care.